Hello everyone, and welcome for today's game of Cassette Beasts. Pokemon-like game? You've got cassettes with monsters, kind of? You'll see. I'll see more too as we begin playing. And what we start out with here, wait, is a quote. Now rides this knight through the realm into the wilderness of Whirl. Few thereabouts that either God or other with good heart loved. Sir Gawain, huge fan. All right, here we are. We're ready. We've started. Who are we? Pixel art. That's right. Just like all the Pokemon games. Character customization in Manfred. Hello. Hi. Welcome. All right, all right, all right. Who are you? I love poker mans. <laughs> We're Ms. Pokerman herself. My pronouns, she, her. And Vigil, Vigil Umbra. Thank you for following, appreciated. Pa 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 poker mans. It's me! My favorite color. Well, if I'm Ms. Poker Mains, clearly my favorite color here would be red. We'll do skin tone number two. Hairstyle. We need something fabulous. What fits with a Ms. Poker Man? Hair tie. We've got low afro, flat top, top bun. Neat. Long fringe. Headband, straight bob, headscarf, hat and buns. <laughs> I don't know if this is necessarily very poker man's e, but it is great. And with the little glasses. Also, Alex, hello, hi, welcome back. Hat and grab going, wait, hat and buns, that's like a rabbit with a pancake on their head. Hats are great for poker. Is it so you can store all of your, yeah, yeah, your hiding cards. I knew it. Uh-oh. Uh, okay, hang on. Uh, I have to drink some water here. Mm -hmm. Hey, all right, check. Water has been consumed. I'm now more hydrated than I was just a moment ago. Next, we've got lax. Bowl cut. How long until we empty the bottle? Let's see. My bottle has a couple of time markers on it for about how much I should drink every hour. And the top marker is 8 a.m. And currently I'm down at 10 a.m. So if we continue to force me to drink until the end of the stream, I would need to drink the entire bottle. So at two o'clock, I should theoretically, which is stream end point, I should have had the entire bottle consumed. This is where I need a bottle cam. So that everyone here can see how much I've drank. And be like, hmm, Kako, you're falling behind in your time. It, it's been another hour, but you're still up at the previous point. I think you need to hydrate more. <laughs> she drank two hours and five minutes. I really am going to die at this rate. Next. Ball th then we've got a long brain, lopsided, wavy bob. Sharp fringe, top bun too, a cat headband, double buns, bald, short locks, mullet, safety helmet, balding, side swept, high ponytail, a quiff, and then we're back to the air tie. And not Loki, hello, hi, welcome. Cat headband, call Petri! Just in general, cat headband, excited for it. A lot of Pokemon NPCs always wear, you know, Pokemon themed equipment, right? They'll wear, say, 
a hat that looks a little bit like Polly Whirl. They'll have a backpack that looks a little bit like Low Pony with its ears wrapped around. It, just an entire array of Pokemon themed outfits. Cat, cat headbands adjacent to that, right? Or <laughs> Desara, I vote for the helmet. You can never be too safe. I like the hat and buns. Oh, the Pokemon fan trainers. Yeah, that could be me. <laughs> yeah, I think it's definitely between the hat and buns. Or the cat headband. Which, which route are we taking? This is true, though, too. If we did opt for the cat headband, then you can use that Peepo Meow to be like, Haha! This is our character! <laughs> yeah! Hmm? Does that mean too? I can change the hair accessory here. I could even have it be pink to match that emo. Uh, this pink looks closest to it. Even though it's not my favorite color of red up here. Still fits, right? That's a nice shade of brown. I like that brown. But we do have many color options here. Red, orangey, yellow, super bright, bright green. The pinkest pink? The pinkest pink for my hair or for my headband? Because I could have them just blend together and then we can just head cannon it. Head cannon this as just straight up. This, this isn't a pair of, like a headband she has on her head it's just straight up her hair that she has styled out to look like cat ears that way she can feel like she's a real cat lady that's what we're going to go for and now there's different options here but i think i'm gonna go with the glasses because they're really growing on me as we just stand here wearing them but our other choices are eyeshadow beard beard with glasses Grumpy, which gives me a little angry eyebrow, essentially. Oh, an entire visor over my face. It's futuristic. A face mask. Half face paint. Plain. Nothing at all. And then we're back to glasses. I, I'm i now between glasses. And the visor. Do we go with a sort of futuristic look? Like, whoa, I'm so cyberpunk here. Puts on face visor. Sci-fi kitty. Cyberpunk cat girl. All right, all right. We're Ms. Poker Man. Wait. F oh. I was gonna stick a Z on the end. And ask if that makes me more cyberpunk. But we've already got as much care as many characters as we can fit. Does that mean instead I could put a zero in for the O? And so we're Ms. Pokerman. Character limits. Bad game design! It's trying to hold me back! Where's the no place like home where we had no name limits and we could just type infinitely? Poker man with a three, two. Poker. Man. Is this it? This is my cyberpunk cat girl reality. I could use an ant sign too. Oh. No, that just deleted our N if I have an at symbol. So it looks like I'm staying with a four. I want to wait seven years for the game to type out my name in dialogue. I need the entire B movie as my character's name. Thank you. Eye color. We actually can't see this now. So I guess I'm just going to scroll through and give myself some pink eyes as well. You can't see them. But we know they're there. We know they're pink. And that's what's important. And we can also change the visor color. I feel like just leaving it as that sort of dark blue blackish color. Makes it look the most cyberpunk. 
So I don't think we're going to change that one. At the very least with my look, if I had the red, that would be okay. But I think that doesn't work as well with my hair color. I like the black a lot. I think I just went fast. Or quote unquote black. It's the closest we're going to get to it. You can take off the visor and put it back. I can, but if I'm in game and we're stuck with the visor forever, or even if we have the option of taking it off later on, why would we, you know? I can't believe you have your, you've given yourself pink eye. Give yourself pink eye because it looks cute, you say, painfully blinking at the camera. What if this has in-game clothing options? It's gotta, right? I can't be stuck with just this plain white jumpsuit, huh? It's not very cute, and it's not very cyberpunk, and it's not very cat. I will definitely need to stop by some kind of in-game shop where I can change my duds. All right, we've gone through all the options. We apply and save as Ms. Pokerman enters the world. Gotta go start in the game right as my vampire guns got done. What a time. And now you can run around and feel like you've, you're you starting your adventures at the same time I am. And I have um washed up from, I guess, my cyberpunk land. Washed up on a beach. Take a shot. As I run around. Oh, that's the end of the beach over there. The wet cat smell. At least it's not a wet dog smell. I don't think cats really smell particularly bad when they get wet. Not at all like a dog. I've also now got apparently 100 pieces of wood. I'm ready to build myself a home. A little cat house. No cat tree. That's all I need. What acquired? Yes, free loot. There's also a gate here. But I don't have a key for that, so we're not going through the gate. There is a bridge here, though? Dude, make that crafting table! I don't know how! What?! We're getting attacked by a safety cone crab now, and that crab does not look happy. Hey, stranger, don't make any sudden moves. Traffic, traffic crab. It's a traffic crab. Yeah, yeah. You just need to change the spelling. She does have a nice beret. And just like my Final Fantasy character. Is that OSHA? I don't think so, because that's not a safety hat. You can't wear traffic cones on your head for safety purposes. Traffic crabs don't take kindly to strangers. Or anyone for that matter. Here, take this. A cassette player and a pair of headphones. Oh, this is perfect for my cyberpunk aesthetic. Okay, quick question. What's your aesthetic? Cyberpunk, oh. I can choose spooky or I can choose sweet. Well, if we're talking about my personal aesthetic, I would opt for spooky. But if we're looking over here at Ms. Poker Man, I think she would be sweet. Cyberpunk cat with pink hair is absolutely sweet, so we'll take that one. Yeah, I can see that, she says, staring at my pink hair cat ears. I went sweet, but you can get both later on if you're curious. All right, mm. Mm. get both of the starters. Not very starter if you can get them both. My song is also called I Want Candy. Oh, oh, <laughs> they're cute. Look at them, a little candy head that makes it look like they've just got big goblin-like ears, big, huge smile, candy corn horn. This is great. This is really cute. And they're called a can devil. Can devils possess the peculiar ability to generate sugary sweets from their bodies, which can be used as gifts or as ballistic projectiles. 
Some find this quite charming, whereas others argue that it's actually very weird and gross. The can devil pulls a candy corn out of its ass, hands it over to you, and says, Here! A gift! And then you start sweating profusely. There's also apparently more information that we do not have enough information. We, we don't know much more about it. We have to get this tape up to five stars to get more info. We don't know about its location. We have no bootlegs for the Can Devil. And we have no stat information either because this is the first one we have for ourselves. As candy doesn't sound very sweet. No, that's why I wouldn't want to eat it. Even worse if it pulled chocolate out. Ah, oh, bleh, fudge, bleh. I don't want that fudge, thank you. All right, now just pop that in your cassette player and put on the headphones and press play. <laughs> this might get a little weird. It already did, but follow my lead. What? Yep, mm-hmm, and there we go. This is why it brings the question, are we the beasts? Are the beasts our friends? Can we hang out with our can devil or are we just we the can devil? Your turn, don't be shy. Ah! That's gotta be painful, right? That, that can't feel good. Just breathe, you'll adjust in a moment, see? My eyesight is even now red pulsating. That red flash looks like pain. And we'll have to do it every time we're going to fight too. Do you even have eyes now? No! My eyes are gone! I'm blind! Right, let's give them hell. I'm fighting them? I'm... S oh, sugar rush. The user's speed is passively raised in proportion to the amount of HP lost. Wow, I'm full health, so that doesn't do anything. So I'm just gonna smack him. The, there we go. I target the traffic crab. And then we can control this other person. I don't know who they are exactly. But I get extra EXP if I spit on them. This is what I think of you, traffic crab. It, oh. Oh, oh, I didn't even get to spit on them. I, Can Devil was too powerful and I killed him. The uncommon spit. Well, looks like I got a Lego brick out of that. Forget about that wood we found. I'm not going to build my house out of wood. Make a cute little cabin. No, 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 no. I'm making myself the Lego brick house. Lego brick mansion with my little Lego brick found that isn't actually water. It's just a bunch of clear, opaque Lego bricks formed to look like a fountain. Hell yeah. The best choice. Mm-hmm. You handled yourself pretty well there. Uh, what's your name? I'm Kaylee. Look, she's even got voice acting for that line. She's Kaylee. Nice to make your acquaintance, Ms. Pokerman. Anyway, we should probably get you warmed up before you freeze to death in your pajamas. Is the floor also Lego? Absolutely. My entire house is Lego. Why would I put a carpet or hardwood flooring in when I can just have a floor of Legos? However, don't they have those smooth-sided Legos so I could just have the floor be smooth sided so you don't have to be walking on top of all the pokey lego sides you know what do you think pretty quaint right is this like a a boat on the top of this house i opted to not get the just normal pointed roof no 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 no, no. my roof is a boat can i have my house upside down where am I? Welcome to Harbor Town. <laughs> Your new home. My new home? Uh, uh, right, yeah, sorry. I'm not very good at this part. I don't know how to best break the news, but 
You're stuck here. Is she adopting us? I like that better. I like that we were just taken up and she says, You're my child now. I'm adopting you. I guess I am a cat girl, so... Kidnapping. Catnapping. We all are. Uh, uh, I don't feel so great. I don't feel so good. Blech. The cat girl dies! Oh, no, never mind. I'm fine. I was just taken to this doctor lady instead. Oh, wonderful. You're awake. Kaylee gave me quite a fright when she came knocking at my door. <sighs> you had me scared for a moment, Ms. Poker Man. I think you mean the vet. Jasaro, you're right. This is the vet. I don't think it's anything serious. Transforming for the first time is quite a shock to the psyche. Is Ms. Poker Man a Discord kitten? RR, I'm grabbing you for that comment and I'm throwing you out the window. You can hear RR as he falls. <laughs> Flat. Anyway, Harbor Town happened to have a spare home available for you, so this is your place now. Okay, but where is it? On Earth. Thank you. She answered me. Herself. Proud of you, Doctor. Haley, you haven't told her? Sorry. Sorry, I should have. She's barely had an opportunity to tell me anything. So, Kaylee shouldn't have to apologize here, and the doctor shouldn't be giving her a hard time. Essentially, all the interaction with Kaylee I've had was me being attacked. Her going, here, take this. Us transforming, she kind of guided me into town and was like, well, this is your home now. And I'm like, what? Blech. There was no time to explain anything. Yeah, I've... Five minutes, crab attack, I turn into candy. Well, not to info dump on you, but you're on an island called New World. New World? New World? The, the brand new world. It's not strictly on Earth. It, at least that's what we think. Is there a way back home? I'm afraid not. <laughs> Wait, but is this bad because on this not-Earth planet, we do get to be cassette beasts? Hmm? Maybe this is a good thing. Maybe this is what Ms. Poker Man has been wanting all of her life. She changed her name as a Pokemon cyberpunk pet girl and has always wished that Pokemons were real. And now she's here, where she can even be the Poker Man. An absolute win for Ms. Pokerman. I'm so sorry. Castaways have been trying to get back to their worlds for a century. And none have succeeded. Fuzzy! Fuzzy, hi! I hope your stream went well. I was lurking in it for a little bit. Quietly. Seeing you make and show off adorable tiny things. I hope your stream ended smoothly. And thank you, Wally, for giving Fuzzy a shout-out. Fuzzy does little tiny miniatures when she streams. You're still very sleepy, though. Understandable. So if you like little tiny, tiny baby things being made, follow Fuzzy. Great miniature art. <laughs> but you'll be okay. There's community in Harbor Town, and we help each other out. It's not a bad life, I swear! It's good here! A and it's safe. Well, apart from the monsters. Like, the one we fought before? Yeah. yeah, I'm actually going on a patrol soon. If you'd like to join me, meet me by the gate. The one just over the bridge we... The one just over the bridge we crossed to come into town. In the meantime, feel free to say hi to your new neighbors. I'm pretty sure word has already gotten around there's a new lass in town. Uh... We also fetched some clothes for you. Oh, well, they might be a little bit, um, 
out of fashion for your era, but it's all we have. Dude, I'll take it. Look at what I'm wearing right now. Boring as hell. My era? Sorry, sorry, I'm info dumping. <laughs> I'll catch you soon, right? We can talk more then if you'd like. My clinic is nearby. If you need a checkup, feel free to visit. This all must be a lot to take in, but we all went through the same thing once. It better be cyberpunk and not Victorian era. Well, with the outfit she's handing me, yeah, we're gonna have to cross our fingers. Victorian steampunk is not my style. I need cyberpunk. I need circuitry, thank you. Not steam. So, speak, speak to Kayla is what my quest is, but obviously I need to exp- A book? A handbook that Kaylee left for you. You can read this to review what you've learned about life on the new island of, or on the island of New World. So you hate steam. I'm calling Gabe. Wait, not that steam. No. He's going to ban me from steam at this right. At this right? Right. I'm opening the dresser. Oh, look, we can change our character here completely, too. Which includes that visor we could take off. And you need to leave now, RR? Okay, thanks for hanging out and stopping on by. I hope you have a good rest of your day. And so we can change... Not the rest. Wait, we can change more. All right. V Pfft. Vintage dress ain't cyberpunk. Vest, jacket, t-shirt, apron? Vest jacket, that's not bad. Poncho. And sweater again. I think one of the jackets or the vest. Most cyberpunky. So then we need to change color. Maybe bright colored red, you think? I can pair it with a black jacket. Or not black jacket, sorry. A black shirt. Match my visor. Bottom trousers, shorts, skirt. Oh, that's it? Hmm. Let me make it the same color here as my shirt. Pondering. Rip sweatpants. But what if we keep on the sweatpants? Wearing just a, like, a full body suit is pretty cyberpunky, right? So if we just picture this as I'm wearing just this black leather or kind of latexy plastic, just generally a futuristic fabric here, if only we could have some red lines stripping through it, that'd be good accent as well. If I also gave myself black boots, it would really be like a full one piece right here. And then I put on my vest. The future is sweat. Latex full body suit, get nice and sweaty. Someone dipped the poor cat in latex. Now that's a way to view it. I want to do just a little bit of a peek around what the rest of these outfit options look like now that I've colored it. And honestly, just switching over to the poncho, I kind of love the poncho. Poncho's a great look there. I can also see how it has the black stripe down at the bottom. Kind of makes me wonder how it would look if I color swapped. Then we've got sweater, t-shirt, jacket, jacket two. Vintage dress. Best. Jacket 3. Ooh, look, the jacket 3 is a partial situation here. Eh, we can pretend then that we're wearing just a crop top style jacket. That's pretty cyberpunky. There's a striped t-shirt. There's the apron again. There's the vest jacket that we had. But the poncho. Okay, quick check because I want to see how this looks color swapped. 13. This one's one. Still pretty good. I like the idea because it's like having that, you know, I, how I would say Tron type color line. 
but reversed looked cuter. We're going with the cyberpunk poncho. The P in poncho is for punk. All right. I guess I could also do just a little peek here. See what the rest of the colors look like. But no, I think the red looks best on us. This is the look. This is our cyberpunk cat girl look. Just like Raiden's poncho. That's me! It looks a little bit like I'm wearing a dress in-game, which I think is funny. But we're going with it. Hello, world! It's me, Ms. Pokermans. You! This guy misses sports. Why can't Harbor Town start a football team? Well, I suppose there'd be no one to play against. I don't think the giant crabs on the beach have a competitive spirit. Well, if there was enough people in town, they could just start a just two football leagues and play against each other. No crab ball, Sid. Hey. Are you new here on the island? The look on your face gives it away. How can you tell? The the visor covered it all. Huh? Have you been to the west side of Harbor Town yet? I've been meaning to visit the Heritage Center over there. Is there a way to get over there? Is the bridge up currently so I can't? It's what it looks like, but... Oh! I just walked off the dock! Hero's gonna say, hey! Maybe I can just swim over! The answer is no. Cat girls can't swim. Cyberpunk cat girls cannot swim. They're used to riding around on their hovercraft bikes. They're not used to water. They don't like it. Hmm. You're new to the whole cassette tape transforming thing, huh? A little piece of advice for you. The key is not to think about how it works. By all accounts, it doesn't make any sense. But it does work. So just go along with it. Took the news of being trapped here very poorly. I hurl myself into the ocean. Unfortunately, the ocean doesn't like that and just spits me back out on the land. Oh, look, there she is. She's waiting by the gate for us. I'm coming. Don't worry. Hi. Hey. Hey again, Ms. Poker Man. Are you feeling a little bit better? You know, you held your own the last time we fought together. So, well, I've been given an errand and need a helping hand. You think you'll be able to help me out? Uh, sure. Why not? I'm here to help. I'm, I'm, I'm Ms. Pokerman. If I have more chances to change into a Pokemon, Pokerman, I'll say yeah. Glad to hear you're up to the task. Do you see that path there? Well, there was some kind of quake or monster activity last night. You can see the cracks in the ground. All right there. Yeah, see cracks here. Crack. Maybe that's a crack, too. And more cracks there. We're gonna check the path and make sure it's safe for crossing. How do we test it? Are we just gonna walk on this path and hope that it doesn't collapse from underneath us? Gate key. I stick it in the lock. Don't worry. Hey, uh, Kaylee, I got it. I got it. Oh my god. I can even push the gate. This game is... Did she just fly? Kaylee, what was that? Kaylee, do you have a pair of... She does have a pair of wings. What the hell? Where where are my cat girl wings? When do I unlock the cat girl butterfly cyberpunk dragonfly wings? I'm jealous. Angel or devil? I think neither. I think she's like a butterfly. Uh... Right. Um, so, there's some basics I gotta show you first. I hope you're ready to turn into a monster again. Uh, definitely! <laughs> it's basically my dream. You'll adjust in no time. It's like riding a bike. Her cassette form had wings, didn't it? Did it? I don't remember. Except, you know, if the bike transformed into a pastel-horned devil. And also, you're the bike. 
Starting to saddle a cyberpunk and more IMVU. Uh, I don't think it's like riding a bike works in this context. Of course it does. Riding a bike is comparable to essentially everything. Everything in life that you could experience. You see that creep with the boots? It's a spring heel. And it's gonna get aggressive with you if you get any closer. He's gonna be threatened and think you're gonna try and steal his boots. So, you're gonna get closer, of course. Because we have to beat them up and assert our dominance, of course. I punch him. Oh, look at this guy, the spring heel. He's so happy to be here. Look at his big, big smiling face. Big eyes, he's excited for the battle, doing a little bit of a dance. And those boots are going to be mine now. We're gonna go get them. Mothman with boots. Bullying the local wildlife. Or the local wolf life. That's us, a bunch of bullies. We fight. Action points. Pay attention to these orange squares, top left. They are your action points, or AP for short. No PP? Most moves require you to spend some AP. The amount of AP a move costs is shown next to its name. If you don't have enough AP for a move, you won't be able to use it this turn. Each party member gets two AP per turn, and an extra one if they land a type advantage attack. You can plan ahead and save up AP for your most powerful attacks by using weaker, low AP moves. So, in my situation, my Bon Bon Blast here would take three action points, so I can't use it right now. However, Smack takes zero, so I can just straight use up that and not worry about losing any AP. And for our friend Kaylee, her spit, which gives the extra EXP, also doesn't take any action points, but her dodge and call for help does. We're gonna spit on them and hope we actually hit this time. Ow! 17 damage! You've taken a bit of a beating, but your monster form can take it. Spring Hill jumps over, punches me once. You've taken a bit of a beating! The fight barely started, Kaylee. I think calling that a bit of a beating is a little bit of an exaggeration. We're going to spit on them! Yeah, show them what for, Emily. If you get into a fight with somebody, spit on them. Show you're cooler than they are. That you have no respect for your opponent. Ptooey. The green bar represents your monster's monster form's health. And the red is yours. If a form loses all of its health in a fight, its tape will break and need repairing. Not only that, but any extra damage from the attack that broke it will apply to your health bar, the red bar. If both of us lose all of our health, then we'll have to retreat back to Harbor Town. Got that? This is like a Yu-Gi-Oh situation with their life points. You have your monsters with life points, you know, they have a certain amount. They get hit, and then if you don't have any other defensive monsters out, any other monsters out to defend you, boom, you take the hit to your life points. It's like Polymorph! There's HP rollover! No! Dude, it's just like Yu-Gi-Oh! I understand. Nice. Thank you, Kaylee. Right, let's crack on. And then I slap him. And just this little tiny spitball. But dewey split. I like that her form has a microphone. She doesn't even use it. She just spits on them instead. Right, I'm doing the bonbon blast. Which has more than double the power. But isn't guaranteed to hit. It only has an 85% accuracy. I'm gonna bonbon blast him anyway. Can I attack my teammates? Is that a yes? I'm about to find out. Wait. No, we just defeated him, so he didn't get the opportunity to find out if I would have spit on myself using Kaylee. 
Sonic Boom Rare. It's a whole team, damage based on speed, if higher, and passive is a 9% melee defense per empty slot. I'm not quite sure what per empty slot is referring to. Empty slot of cassette tape loadout? I don't know. Maybe there will be a Melfi cassette beast. Willie thinking about the Mommy Melfi Yu-Gi-Oh card. Empty slot machines? Maybe that's what it refers to. Kaylee spits on us. Oh, blushing. Stop it, Kaylee. And now we've got more wood, more plastic, more wheat. Yeah. There are other Melfi cards. They're a cute archetype. Well, he can't stop thinking about the mommy Melfi. Mommy is a good card, okay? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Nice work. Hmm. That elevator should be functioning. There will be a switch around here to turn it back on. He just keeps ranting and raving about Mommy Melfi. He can't stop. He loves the Melfis. How did we get up there? I missed her comment. Or really, I don't remember what she said. Melfi? Sorry. Melfi? Sorry. See, this is why I need wings. I could just fly all the way up there. Kaylee. Kaylee, get the switch for us. Also, apparently this game has local multiplayer. You can see up here it has local multiplayer. Drop in and out. Give us a piggyback ride, Kaylee. Come on. I'm legitimately gonna have to like... What did she say about this platform? She looked over at it and made a comment and I do not remember what she said. Can you go into that mine? Oh wait, is there a hole right here? Oh. Oh! Hey. Imagine paying attention in a game. Couldn't be me. She's now my partner! I've just been forced into a relationship! Hey, check out my new girlfriend, Kaylee. Wow, congrats! <laughs> Thank you! I had no idea getting a romantic partner was this easy. Kaylee! Kaylee, are you ready to come back to my place later? Serenades are particularly loud creatures and can amplify their own singing voices through their microphone tails and wings. They don't seem to have much awareness as to whether or not their singing is too loud for those around them. Basically, they have no sense of the circumstance. They, they cannot pick up from others around them covering up their ears because singing way too loudly they don't get it they just go wee they're trying a weird dance move as like old ericock wings with no arms neat that's them hey. oh shy guy thank you for the bits i play mommy melfi in defense mode and a guard face down you fool, you buffoon, you fell for the most classic blunder. I play Mommy Melfi, sorry, I meant Mommy Melfi, sorry, I meant Mommy Melfi, sorry, I mean Pot of Reed. Dang, that's a good move. <laughs> Shy guy. <laughs> that was a good one. And Shrek, hello, hi, welcome. Good job completing your chores. Good timing, too, because you got in. To hear Shy Guy's Mommy Melfi TTS Redemption. And Kaiser! Kaiser, hello! Hi, welcome back! Welcome to Cassette Beasts, where we're sitting down next to the campfire with my new girlfriend, Kaylee. These bonfire pits mark areas you're safe to set up camp. 
It gives you a chance to repair your tapes and heal up. I think we're gonna fight this snake first. I want to get the snake. I need to learn how I can capture the opponent cassette beasts. That way I can be Carnivipe. Man, if I bothered getting bits, y'all would be done. Shrek. Alright. We're gonna smack around the traffic crab first to show that we do not care about safety. No regards. Slapped. OSHA be damned. Ooh! What? <laughs> that move. That elevator. Exposed lift. Exposed moving parts. Crushing hazard. Improper signage. No emergency stop. Yeah, that's a violation. There'll be 100,000 bits. Emily, thank you for the bets. <laughs> Overall, amazing. I love the Kronk voice. It does sound kind of like a depressed Johnny Bravo, though, honestly. It's not too far off. Kronk does not sound as upbeat as you think he would. Kaylee lights a fire in my pit. Oh, jeez. She does for me, too. I'm sweating. I I I'm blushing. Oh, jeez, I'm stepping back from one foot to the other because I'm just so embarrassed. I've also now got some plastic, and apparently Can Devil got the raise arms move. Raises the user's ranged attack. My ranged attack power grows more powerful by me just putting my arms a little bit higher into the air. I'm plenty upbeat. I'm just tired. Been working three jobs to afford my gym membership. <laughs> my gym memberships. <laughs> it's funny because it sounds so fitting to Kronk's voice. It's like he's really answering. And Ursula. I, I don't know why I said that that time. Emily, thank you for the bits. something about the way I was looking. You know, sometimes when you are looking at words, you know you want to say one thing, but then you end up reading the word out loud instead. You know, me wanting to say Emily, but then my eyes looking at Ursula, my mind says, yeah, say that one. If crossed wires would be accurate. I'm raising up my ranged attack because I want to know what that's like. You know, I'm going to also call for help. Oh, I didn't even get to see me raise my arms up. I feel scammed. Whoop. Look at our temporary ally. The spring guy with the boots. He's fighting on our team now. Yes. The free Mothman. I missed my bond one last! He also has kind of a spooky looking attack, and uh, that was also kind of an intense looking poison. Poison characters take damage at the end of their turn. Alright, so not up top at the end. That means she went and then, boom, damaged. I assume it ends after the fight ends though. And we got some pulp? Apparently a lot of pulp, 42 pieces of pulp, mulched paper, a basic recycled resource that can be exchanged for items and services. A check. You're smilly. Shrek, if you just read it out like that instead of thinking of it as a Ursula and Emily and just visually you go, hmm, you're smilly. Hmm, or smiley. I like smilly. It makes it sound like you're saying smelly weird. Boots with the fur? No, I don't think there was any fur on those boots. I beat them up to a pulp. That's what that was. And apparently we use the wood 
for the campfires. Where we can view our party members here. We can check out our tape storage, which, of course, we just started out, so we don't have any right now. So. Water storage, storage poison, plastic plant, metal, lightning, ice, glitter, glass, fire, earth, beast, astral, air. This is really interesting uh, beast types here. I I need some glitter beasts, thank you. <laughs> glitter with the little sparkles around, wow. Yeah, totally didn't intend for that. That's what happens when you take two different words and slam them together sometimes. You come out with something a little bit unexpected. Here is your loaf of bread. That will be 56 piles of pulp, please. Wait, no! I've only got 46! Bootleg, they better be jank AF or I'll be mad. Like old bootleg games. I'm pretty sure in one of our cassette tapes... When we were looking at the information, it had a section that specifically had a bunch of list of bootleg things. So I'm not sure if they are a specific type. I guess I was looking at my cassette collection, so maybe they were. But maybe you can layer cassette tapes to modify your current cassette beast monsters? I don't know. It also is kind of redundant. Cassette beasts monsters. I don't need to say monsters. I can just say cassette beasts. This does not need to be an ATM machine situation. Kaylee tells you about her various ventures helping out the people of Harbor Town. Huh? Huh? Connecting with my girlfriend. And so we've rusted. Like that we've barely gone outside of town and we just slept for the night. There's also someone up here on the bridge. What are you doing? Hello? Nope, oh, wrong button. I haven't seen you around before. Let me guess. You washed up pretty recently, didn't you? Doesn't this mean that this guy was locked out here? Because we unlocked the gate to get over to this side of the area. Has he just been stranded outside of town? Probably desperately waiting for somebody else to unlock. He has wings? Oh my god, you're right. If he has wings like Kaylee, he could have just flown over the gate. Oh, yeah, connecting with your girlfriend while out camping. Yeah, connecting. An automatic ATM machine. They're really doubling it up, Phil. Oh, is that a cassette player you're holding? Here, take these. Huh? A pencil? Just like you would do with the real cassette tapes. You could take the back side of your pencil and just, or the other side of your pencil, and just stick it between the little hole parts of the roller wheel. And then twist it so you can rewind it. Fully restores the HP of one tape. Uses up a turn when used in combat. Let me just rewind my tape to go back before you attack to me. But why does it use up the pencil? Dude, you can't reuse pencils that you've just used to rewind. That's gross. Get a fresh pencil. I remember rewinding with my pinkies. Pencil's safer, though. You know the damage that can be wrought upon your pinky finger? Just accidentally break it right off. I'm walking back here. It's letting me walk along this, uh... Little dividing wall, I suppose. Seeing if there's anything hidden back here. Which, there is a snake guy. This game is pretty. I like the aesthetics of it. You are a CD boy, Dagnardio. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I used CDs more often than cassettes as well. But I do faintly remember them as well. Come on, it's this way. But I don't want to go that way. Mm, fine, Kaylee. I'll listen to you because you're my girlfriend. If you weren't, I would be doing whatever I want to. What? Is this supposed to be a little crack in the wall just... Bursting out a spiral of wind. I think I'm gonna go over here and just be concerned about the cracked floor first. Hmm. There. Do you see that monster? The cute moth? 
Hell yeah, I see them. There must be a way to get it to come over here. Just wave! Hey, you! Over there! Come, come to me! You wore tapes, but you have old fuzzy memories of eight tracks, even. What? Traffic crab got mad at me and wanted to fight. I battle him. Yeah, we're just gonna smack him up. Fight. And then spit. Whack. Can't wait. Wait, I'm level seven? They were level four. I didn't realize how much higher. Oh my god. Dude, they've just built up the Lego wall between us. How are we supposed to break through that? Walls absorb a certain number of incoming hits. Type advantaged attacks immediately break walls. What's strong against Lego? Acetone, maybe? I don't have any of that. The Legos really are OP. What the fuck? Turn on a lamp. There is the lamp right here in the background. If I just switch on that, will it scare the traffic crab out from behind its Lego wall? We're just gonna redirect and try to kill the second, the second one now instead. Wait! I can also sonic boom them and see if that will maybe hit the guy behind the wall. Eh? I yell? Nope, defended. How strong is this wall? Uh, bon bon blast it, maybe. Maybe that'll work through. Hiya! No! Oh, but we did finally destroy the wall. So, just spinning on it, was able to finish him off. And by the way, Lich. Hello, hi, welcome. And you bet for the moth, Phil? Oh yeah, that would be the moth over here. Well, that's fine. Here's the lamp. We turn it on. Thank you, Phil, for the assistance. Okay. If you hadn't given me that idea, I would have never known. Kids are really good at making Legos disappear. Did we eat the Legos? Okay, take these. A basic tape records monsters' forms with a normal efficiency rate. Yes! These are our Pokeball- uh, Pokeballs. Accidental backseating. Sometimes this is what happens when you make a joke. Is it turns out to be real. This really is just Pokemon, but with dancing. And music! There's something about the monsters on New World. Well. When weakened, their essence can be... Well... Recorded to cassette tapes. We don't know entirely how it works, but it does. And that's good enough for us. All right, time to weaken him. Wait, oh no, it's gonna want me to just straight up try recording them. We can also apparently recycle the tapes for five Lego, which we don't want to do, but we're able to do. All right, Domina. Domi Moth? Domi Mothy? Domi Moth. <laughs> Domi Moth. Yeah, after I read it out loud, I couldn't help but just mentally think of it and want to say Domi Moth. <laughs> it is really close to that, so. <laughs> it does look like a latex mask. Maybe this was a trick the entire time. It is the Domi Moth. Dominoths see themselves as defenders of peace and spend their days patrolling the skies of woodland areas. The only thing that can distract them from their noble duties are bright lights, such as lamps. And obviously, that's all we have from there. Whether a recording succeeds or not is down to chance. However, several factors affect the probability of success. How much health the monster has, level and rarity, how much damage you dealt it while recording, and how much damage the person recording it took. Buffing your attacks 
or debuffing the target's defenses can be an effective way to increase the damage you deal the target and improve the odds in your favor. As long as a monster is being recorded, it cannot flee or be defeated, so you don't need to worry about knocking it out. Huh. That... That's not a useful twist, I suppose, since, you know, if you're doing Pokemon, concerned about while trying to decrease the Pokemon's HP, accidentally killing it. That moth looks like a common rider kind of deal. I like the thought of describing it as a common a, a common rider. More than a, uh, a dom. Yeah, KOing a shiny Pokemon. No! Do you think we have shiny cassette beasts? Or glitter types shiny? But Ponoroko, hello, hi, welcome. Wild how some quality of life stuff makes our heads explode when it comes to Pokemon-like games. <laughs> Truly. Said so that bootlegs are this game's shinies, didn't I? Maybe, and I might have just missed your comment, or even misread it, either way. The moves you have access to when using a tape in battle are determined by what stickers are attached to the tape. Stickers, huh? You can give new moves to a tape by applying stickers from your inventory. Moves you don't want can be peeled as stickers and put in your inventory, so you don't even permanently lose the attack or skill because you peel it off and you keep the sticker. <laughs> Scratch and stiff stickers. Stickers can be used as many times as you want, but can only be applied to a single tape at a time. Stickers can be obtained in different ways, such as by filling tapes experience point bars, from chests or caches you find, from certain merchants in Harbor Town. So we can view our stickers being smack, sprint, and nothing else right now. This is then the empty slots that the one move was probably referring to here. See, where we hover over sprint and say that plus 3% speed per empty slot, and in this case, we would only get one. If we took off smack, then we would be able to get six. It also gives me extra EXP and priority, apparently. Name it Dami Mommy. Dami Mommy. Whoa, no! Ladder capped. I'm naming it Dami Mommy. It could not. We can also favorite them here, and we can also review their bestiary index page here. And that's it. I think that's all we need to really look at here. Now try switching to the tape you just recorded. Alright, switch. Tommy Mothy. We can also check the tape here if we want more information about them. And then with her, we'll just go ahead and spit. 120 total beasts seems pretty good. The first gen Pokemon was like 150. That's pretty comparable. It's not... Still a, uh, a decent amount more in Pokemon, but 120 ain't bad. And there's fusions here, apparently, huh? Hmm, cassette beast fusion... Oh no, you're right, moth on moth violence. Mods. Fight it out! If a monster takes too much damage, it'll flee, so you won't be able to record it. You with me so far? Right. Now, let's finish this bug off. I guess we do have to worry about dealing it too much damage, then. Spit! And then we fight. Uh, Sprint's just a buff, so we're going to just melee attack it. And... Yeah, Sonic Boom does more power. It has 60 power, so I'm gonna Sonic Boom the Dami Moth. And then we kill him, and we win. So that didn't give us a lot of EXP though, but we did unlock Zephyr for it. Is before you record them. Once you start recording, can't flee anymore. I see, the progress. So first I have to, it's, Fight starts, I start attacking, deal too much, you'll leave. Start attacking, start recording, 
fail to record, maybe, and then it can't run at that point. Something, some, some. But Impy Demoness, hello, hi, welcome, and thank you for following. Appreciate it. Uh, as now there's a little bit of wind flying beneath me. <laughs> What's happening? Well, some monster forms give us, uh, extra abilities when we record them, beyond just being able to take their shapes. This is why Kaylee has the wings. You're high. Makes sense, that's an accurate statement. I am high now. Don't panic. Oh, yeah, now I've got wings too. The moth wing glide. You can now hold space to glide across long distances, but this consumes your stamina. I should probably have warned you, but I thought it might be a little easier to show you. We can use this glide to get across that gap over there. And so this is the world that we live in. I feel myself get tired. Are these going- Are we gonna unlock different parts of the game? And those are all going to just be various song references? It'll make sense for a game with cassettes and music. There's the Deadlands over there. Oh my god. This guy have like a bucket on his head. I love them. They will likely be recorded when I get over there. Up, oh, up through the air and uh... I guess uh... I don't get to have my wings pop out when I'm hovering around? That feels unfair. No, 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 never mind, I did. I guess it was just blending in with my poncho and hair to my eyes, and I didn't notice that the wings were popping out. I'm blind, apparently. Okay, now there's a couple of ways to walk, because we can go down here. Ooh! We can flip the switch for a convenient air current to come back here later. Or for a shortcut, really. Huh? Huh? What's going on? Oh, well, this is because of monster activity. We better stay sharp. Let's go. Okay, now before we go then, since that's the way we're supposed to go, what if we try going over here? Oh. All right. Try two. Eh. Oh. These look like rocks where may be able to push around or smash later, so I'll disregard them. Head down. See, why can't we be like Kaylee and be able to fly upwards and just hang out on top of the cliffs like it's absolutely no problem? You. Oh, wow. This dandelion is huge. It's so happy to look at his smile. The devs don't let you skip their game. I can't just fly over portions and be like, nah, skip this section. Haley's just showing off. That's what she's wanting to do, I guess, yeah. Oh. I need both of them, though. I want the Carnivipher and the Dandelion. We're going to spit on them a little bit. So I can bring them down a just a mite with their HP. You know, deal a bit of damage. Air type attacks can uproot plant type targets, disconnecting them from the source of their nutrients. The ground. Characters with AP drain gain one fewer AP each round. All right, thank you. Heard Kako say, okay, so here's a couple of different ways to walk, and imagined Kako doing some kind of walking seminar. Welcome to my TED Talk, where I show you the different ways you can walk. Pay close attention. Hmm. Maybe we'll smack him one more time with Ms. Poker Man, and then we'll start recording. Carnivipper. Oh, I guess they're using the that first. Recording now. Ow! Uh. 
She's so low on her health now. Falling into the black bar zone. Oh no, Kaylee's gonna die! Sorry. Huh. I guess it goes through a couple of stages of attempting to. Ms. Poker Man now should probably have a better chance since she has higher HP, so we're going to try to get her again. But in the meantime, we're going to just spit on the dandelion. Yeah, see, 64% chance. Recording begins. <laughs> they hate Kaylee. They just keep beating her up. Ow! Oh, and then the dandelion takes a bite out of me. Depleting my chance for... Wait! I got him! Yes! Okay, there's the Carnaviper. Now we just need to get the dandelion. Despite its grinning visage, the Carnaviper isn't actually a friendly creature. What? It is very territorial and will attack anyone who approaches that it deems a threat, which tends to be everything and everyone. It's like a wasp situation here. So it has... Wait a second. Use move... Raise arms? I look at the Karna Viper. What arms? This does not have any arms where it could raise. How is it able to do this? But I don't know you. Prepare for death. That's the Karna Viper. It then raises its arms menacingly at you. I don't know how it does it, but... Has a tail, though! A tail isn't an arm, that's a tail! Where's the raised tails move? That's a feather coming off of his head, if you consider that a feather. It is awfully wiggly. Well, I guess we need to rename this one, too. So instead of Carnaviper... Armsless. That's their name. Pant snake. No, no, no. It, it. In reference to the Ray's arms, they're now called armsless. Dude, that's fucked up. It raises the menacing, though, if armsless uses the Ray's arms move at you, right? It, it doesn't have any, and yet it raises them anyway. To say arms as in weapons, does that mean they just raise their face to the sky? You know, like their teeth are their arms? Maybe. It has among its hands that only appear when it needs them, obviously. It raises its arms and then just suddenly these two big hands pop out. Technically, then it only has hands and no arms, right? Haha. <laughs> but Elec Inc. Hello, welcome, and El Penis. Hi. Clearly the way you say your name, right? Go back. Your turn next, dandelion. Oh, we still have to kill the carnival uh, viper, of course. Smack him! Wait! Record dandelion. News on dandelion. While Kaylee... Yeah, we'll use a sonic boom so we can just deal some damage to both of them. Hands up. I can feel the power! <laughs> oh. It's painful trying to tame these cassette beasts. Oh my god. Well, if you get them to zero, zero health there, apparently my percent chance goes up to 100, basically. Caught. Success. What the hell? Your Kaylee has a rare sonic boom? Yes, Kaylee is quite powerful. <laughs> Streamer luck is real. That seems really good. That was pretty good. Dandelions are loyal, defensive guardians. They're typically found standing at the entrances to important caves in the grassy plains of New World. If you find one with no cave nearby, it may be a hint that something is hidden. Hmm... So if we ever run into a dandelion, check around. Oh my god. The dandelion also has five available slots. It's crazy. Alright, dandelion. What are we gonna name him? 
What's the dandelion's name? Something flowery? Something liony? We named our snake. Armsless. Dandelion! Dandelion. Just put a space between it. The grab just going, yeah, just put a space between their... A, a space in their name right here and boom! Some kind of flower lion. It's too bad we can't put the entire thing. As I get distracted partway through with Willie saying, just call it daddy! Daddy lion! I like the Dandy Leon the best. Dan, then we can call him Dan for short. All right, Dan. Are you ready to embrace your cassette beast life as my minion? Doggy. Doggy D. Leon. They're ours now. And now they're gone. Now we kind of are needing to rest, aren't we? Oh my god, we got a lot of stuff. We got Bite for Can Devil. We've got Provoke for Serenade. We've got Wallop for Dami Mothy. We got Toxic Stab for Armsless. And Elemental Wall for Dandy Leon. Not sure which beast you like so far. I love all of them. They're all so good. It does make it hard to pick the best one. Need more time to get used to them. You know, maybe get to know their personalities too. So I can really understand who I like best. That bite. Is that toxic stab with 90 power? I mean, the bite compare up here with being a rare move too. Hits one target, heals the user a little bit afterwards. 17 EXP points and 19 splash damage? And shared with allies? Damn, this move is good. They're supposed to be rare! <laughs> and I got the move anyway. <laughs> I flaunt my rare sticker in front of you, sticking it on my cassette tape. Don't let Dami Mothy near any bridges. Uh... I take one step forward after that fight. Just a singular- like we just battled out right there and then I just- And then an earthquake. Okay, you felt that one, right? Uh, oh! Excuse me? Was that a guy or was that a cassette what? beast? What is that? Was this always here? This isn't normal? I've never seen anything like this before. Has this always been buried here? Well, we're gonna investigate the strange structure now. I want to point out again that this game is technically an isekai. I mean, yeah. We did just wake up on a beach in a new world, so... Well, we're apparently the main character now, too. Hey, <laughs> sunglasses on. Sorry, visor on. It literally just appeared, Kaylee. Pay attention. Look, let's not ha give her a hard time about how much attention she's facing. Or how much attention she has. That she's paying attention. When I myself over here have been failing to pay attention. I think back to that lift. Is this a train station? It should be okay to look around. Right? Well, Kaylee, I guess we'll find out. Ooh, poster! Collect that! Rip it off! You can use it like a sticker. Oh, no! Oh, well, he's trying to drown me. I'm looking at the water. I haven't had any for the past, um... Hour? Two hours? Gotta make sure you take breaks! Jeez, okay. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. And six. Oh. <laughs> okay, now there's a seventh. Here we go. 
Wow, that almost took us to the full hour in one go! Imagine drinking an hour's worth of water in 10 seconds. 15 seconds? Accurate enough. I'm looking down at Kaylee's HP bar, bar... HP bar 2. Uh, Kaylee, you're not doing too good, are you? <laughs> Kaylee ran into the entrance turnstiles and was like, Ah, forget these. I'm flying over them. Neutralize automatically removes the user's debuffs when their HP falls below 50%. Let Kaylee perish? No! She's my girlfriend and I love her! I can't let her perish! I haven't even fa Like, the only way or reason I would want her to perish is if there was a replacement girlfriend, alright? And we don't have one right now. What is an hour's worth of water anyway? Um... About the the height of two fingers with the um, circumference being thumb to middle finger and one index finger. With uh, my own fingers being used as the reference point. So if you have smaller fingers or bigger hands, bigger fingers, it will... It will. <laughs> Americans will use anything except metric! <laughs> Ms. Pokerman, can you feel something in the air? Sniff? Well, I feel some dust in the air. Kinda dirty. Uh... Huh? Oh, I don't like this. Hello? Can we leave? Is that you, Mordrood? Come closer, child, so that I may see you one last time. This... this is... The long conflict has drawn to an end. I am afraid he has defeated me truly this time. Oh, Miss Pokemon, I, I think this is an Archangel. We need to leave now. This isn't like the other monsters. We are not safe here. I, Miss Pokerman, pay no attention to what she's saying. Psst, give me a moment, girlfriend. <laughs> So, who are you? No. no, no, you are not my kin. You come for me once again, sword in hand. Oh no. Oh no. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. We get into a battle. Archangel Morganta. Morgante. Oh no! A look at Kaylee's HP. Well, this is cool. In a way. So if I raise arms now, we can then bite next round. So I'm going to raise my arms. And we're going to actually just switch for Kaylee. Because then we should be able to have the full HP from him, right? Alright. Transform, Kaylee. Find, find safety in Dandy Lion. Or Dandy Leon. Ha-ha! You missed! Weak bite. And then I bite her. I'm also looking at her level, by the way. At least she doesn't have a lot of HP left. Look, they can also bite. That's two rare moves for both of them. Shin Megami Tensei vibes, yeah. Assuming one sleeps eight hours per night and it's recommended to drink at least two liters per day, an hour's worth of water should be around 125 milliliters, i.e. half of a standard glass. I just look over at my water bottle and say, sure! I'm also picturing the idea. Yeah, I got one HP back! 
Looks like Morgant is immune to bites. Uh-uh! 144 damage, huh? Something tells me that I, um... Maybe, maybe I'm not meant to survive this fight? That I'm a, a, a guaranteed loser here? Just drink when you're thirsty, basically. Or that's two liters per day thing is bullshit, apparently. There has to be at least some fair range or approximation of how much water you should be drinking, though, right? Uh, mm. I don't know. Drink water, though. It's good for you. Unless the water's poisoned. Filled with too many heavy metals. Also, depending on how much you sweat. Hmm. Drink enough to be hydrated. Easy. You just don't die of thirst and you're good. Simple. With all of this water talk, Slime goes, You know what? I think it's water drinking time. Alright, unlike other monsters that spend AP to use moves, Archangels accumulate all of their AP until it reaches 10. Once an Archangel reaches 10 AP, it unleashes all that power at once with its unique angelic attack. To survive, use your moves strategically to either set up a solid defense in preparation or defeat the Archangel before it gets enough AP. Still kind of feel like we're not going to <laughs> successfully win this battle, but if you say so... Also, I'm like looking at Can Devil's attack moves, and since this specifies ranged attack, does like any of my moves count as ranged other than Bon Bon Blast? Because it doesn't really read like it. Smack's probably melee, Bite's probably melee, Bon Bon Blast is the only one. I guess I'll just smack him so I can store up some of my AP. And then we'll Elemental Wall. No, and maybe not Elemental Wall, because that's going to be 20% of my HP. Uh-oh. Maybe? I don't know that I want to use an item, because again, I'm not entirely sure if we're meant to win this fight or not. I guess I'll just defend. As... Scan Devil just gives him a slap again. Ha, they missed again. I'm not gonna die here. Not like this. Do you hear me, Ms. Pokerman? This isn't the end for us. It can't be. I refuse. I refuse. Wait, is this where we're going to fuse together? We're gonna fight this thing and we're going to do it together. Ms. Pokerman and Kaylee's hearts act as one. <gasps> oh, we're fusing. I'm blushing. Oh, jeez! Uh, 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 can we unfuse, please? I, I, you. I'm not sure I like this combination. When your goals are aligned with those of your companion, you can fuse to become a singular, more powerful beast. Closer you are to your companion, the more powerful you are as a fusion. Keep an eye on your fusion meter, though. You can only fuse when this is full. Did you at least buy your dinner first? No, but we did camp out together early, earlier, Jasaro. So, that's a, I'd say that's dinner adjacent, right? DNA Digivolve time! Fuse into Abomination! It's success! As a fusion, you gain four AP each turn instead of two, allowing you to make use of your move, uh, more powerful moves sooner. You also have access to all of the moves of both tapes combined, and your stats are added together. So that makes sense. We fuse, so we get bon uh, benefits of both monsters. But who oh boy, if I don't hate the look of Can Devil and Dandelion fused together, this looks awful. Th that's a lot of chocolate in that vial. Well, now is the time for my bonbon last. Which, uh... 
is not quite my most powerful attack, Bite is, but since I do currently have my ranged attack still up, maybe would make it more powerful. I blast him. The status blocked, though. Uh... Psst, partner, I think we're still going to die. But what if we put up our elemental wall now? We definitely have more than 20%, and it says it's going to absorb up to three hits. So let me just, uh, put up the wall for us. <laughs> this is my wall. That's my wall. And it lasted one turn? I thought it was supposed to make three hits. Just a pathetic toothpick. <laughs> no. Well, I guess I'll bite her instead then. Uh, chomp. I did five damage! This fight's turning around now. Quick, fight him again. Chomp. Chomp. Just a little bit more! His scripted went. I feel like that maybe is what this is. Oh, wait, no, she actually hit me that time. Uh, uh, chomp! Wait, I'm looking. We win! And just bite God to death. Duh. And done. I also got an uncommon move for armsless. Chance to be used automatically when hit with a melee attack. Damage based on max HP if higher. We've also got Taunt for Dami Mothy and Leech for Dandy Lion. Dandy Leon, sorry. I say that wrong a lot. Also, this fused material smells of rotten eggs, but rangers seem to regard it as valuable. That's a very funny uncommon. <laughs> yeah, just attack them back. Revenge. Or parry, even. Hmm. And so we go back uh... to normal. How, how did we... I don't know. Do you think that's the first time anybody has ever fused together then? Your stamina increased by 20%, and we can now glide for three seconds. Yeah, call me when I can fly. Enough. My time is drawing to an end. Why have you come to this wretched place? Oh, you know. Uh, exploration. Looking around. That's really why we came in this little building, is we were like, wow, this wasn't here before, and we just kind of wandered on in. But those are not my options, so I'm going to say I want to go home. Because just saying I want off this island is pretty vague, because if everybody here is from a different either world or a time period, then we could end up not where we want to be, you know? I see. There is a way. There are none who know the path, but I. I require a vessel, and you require a guide. Rebuild my strength, and in turn, I shall lead you from this land. I don't know if I trust her. A vessel, exact? What do you want? I guess... If we could record you on a cassette, and then we... Start playing you. That's kind of like being used as a vessel. Very well. Hear my song. I die. But well, it looks like I'm the vessel now. If you wish to leave this land, then heed my words. Oh, you must rise to the task at hand. You must walk the path most long. The rest of the song is too quiet to make out. <sighs> I didn't realize she was supposed to be singing there, but okay. Miss Pokerman, are you okay? What happened? You blanked out for a second there. You should get out of here. Yeah, it's possible if I had the song vocals turned on that we would have actually been able to hear that song. Huh. Well, a lot happened in, at that train station. I guess we should probably talk about it. <laughs> no. We're never gonna speak about that again. 
let's talk about the Archangel. Archangel. You know, the person that just totally possessed me, and I'm now one with them. Archangels. Well, supposedly when the first unlucky sods washed up on the shores of New World, thought the monsters here were angels. And, well, some of them wrote of other entities too, greater than the others. Creatures that look and feel wrong. Logically, they called these other creatures Archangels, the highest ranking among the Order of Angels. Of course, when people learned they could fight and defeat the regular monsters, they lost their uh, angelic allure. Well, They've had a bunch of names over the years. Angels, demons, devils, ghouls. We just call them monsters now. It's a good catch-all term. Ugh. Those other creatures, though, like the one we fought, they're still archangels to us. We don't know what they are. No one has really seen one for a long time. Looking at that thing we fought, it's hard to explain. Felt like I wasn't viewing it correctly. Like trying to watch a movie through binoculars or something. Sorry. Oh, sorry. I'm uh, making some assumptions there. We're all from different worlds, after all. <laughs> you might not know what movies are. What? What are movies? Haha, <laughs> just kidding. Come on, I've seen plenty of movies. <sighs> oh, phew. Okay, grand. I've been in New World for three years, and I've still not completely learned to adjust my cultural references when I talk to new folks. Hey, second. About us. I blush, and I kind of push my fingers together. Using... <laughs> oh, yeah, uh, that. Fusion is a rare phenomenon known by rangers. <laughs> About last night, ooh. There are fused monsters in the wild, and supposedly the leader of the rangers can do it too. A movie? Is that some kind of bovine? Goblin has no idea. He comes from the Minecraft world where there aren't any movies. In the right circumstances, two people in monster form are able to unite and form one powerful being. I guess the right circumstances include uh, nearly being killed by an archangel. It felt strange. In that moment, I was sharing a body with you, and the thing we became was both us and not us at the same time. Oh. I, I've never fused with anyone before. I certainly wasn't expecting to fuse with someone I barely know. <gasps> Come on, Kaylee! We're girlfriends now! Okay, what a square. <laughs> it just kind of happened in the heat of the moment, right? Sorry. Sorry. Talking about it is a, a little bit awkward. Well, we wouldn't have survived without yeah. it, Kaylee. Well, yeah, I guess you're right. Now that we've done it, I have this weird feeling inside me. Like, a door has been opened that I didn't even know was there before. I feel like I'd be able to fuse with you again, if we ever needed to. Oh, heck, more fusions? Hmm. So, let me get this straight. That Archangel, Morgant, her memory is inside you now? And she knows a way to leave New World? There is even a chance that this can lead to a way off this island and return people to their homes and their families? We owe it to everyone on New World to find out. You and I! What do you say? Are we in this together? Well, we don't have any other option. Oh, we got to relationship level one with Kaylee! Slowly. Our relationship as girlfriends increases. Soon we'll get to heart level 5 and we'll be able to get married. The door to darkness? Yeah! The door to darkness! The return back to our normal worlds! And Grey, hi, hello. You just got together with Kayla and you're already cheating on her with some archangel shaking my head. Dude, the archangel's just inside my head! It's not the same thing! Fusions you form with Kaylee now have 5% added strength. Building relationships with your friends is really important. 
The strength of your relationship directly affects how strong you are when fused together. You can get closer to someone by completing their quests and by battling alongside them. When the time is right, you can take a break at a campfire or in the cafe to level up your relationship. This makes me curious about the other characters that we're going to be able to befriend and battle with. Because clearly, they're not going to explain the system like this if Kaylee was literally the only person we were going to be fighting with. If an archangel gave you that vision, then you need to find another one. And you need to be strong enough to stand against it when you do. Alright, and so this is the world that we live in. So now we're in the land of confusion. Locate Archangels to complete Morgant's song, then follow the clues it contains to find your way home. The Rangers have a training program that will help you become strong enough. Let's begin by getting you a meeting with the Ranger leader. She'll be at the outpost in the park right about now. Take me on, see? These are all definitely just a whole bunch of song references for their quests. Girlfriend likes you slightly more. You can beat up 5% better. Enhance your relationships with people. Become a more powerful fighter as a result. Beat up this! I gasp as Gooblin just starts running after flipping everybody off. Gooblin, no! I'm gonna tell all of his Minecraft villagers and they'll beat him up as revenge. All right, uh, do you think we already automatically rested? I guess I'm going to rest again, just in case it didn't. Haley tells you about her various ventures helping out the people of Harbor Town. Oh, comfortable. What they're called? Weaponry? You go to sleep in your bed, Gooblin. You wake up in the morning. All of your diamond equipment gone. You step outside. You're surrounded by villagers, one of whom is now fully geared out with diamond equipment. You're gonna regret this. We don't talk about goop here anymore. Not after what happened. Not after the incident. Oh look, that person has a little flipped hair. Cute. Eh, fool, I use advanced netherite equipment. Fool? Uh, Goobloom, that means that's what they have on. Look at them again. Who is this guy? Oh, a nobody. Bye. Pumpkin art? Oh, yeah, look at that right there on the wall. Little, little tooth. Cute pumpkin. Bonjour. It is not too often we get a new face in here, especially not one as pretty as your own. I am Clemence. I am Clemence, and this fine establishment is the Gramophone Cafe. What can I say? I own many records, and I brew the best coffee. Not that there is much competition. Please, feel free to ask me any questions. I am in no rush. Nah. Bye! Your waifu spotted. Don't say that in front of Kaylee, she'll get jealous! There's also a mailbox right here. Oh, how strange that it's indoors where nobody can deliver letters. Check it anyway? This will connect to the internet. No! The internet's scary! I ran away from the mailbox! Hey! In the new and improved waifu bag too, she goes. Why are there a couple of vampires out here? See, it says bloodsuckers even. Okay, before we go, I would confront the vampires who we definitely need to be friends with. I want to take a bathroom break. So throw it up my BRB screen. Gonna play or run an ad break so we can get rid of pre-rolls for an hour. So I'm gonna be stepping away anyway. Now is a great time. Fine, I'll take a drink of water at the same time too. One, two. Happy. What? Three! And four. 
All right, I'm past the next line there. Okay. <laughs> now I'm going to leave. And now's the time to get up, take a bathroom break yourself, grab a snack as I drink more water from Goob, apparently. It's one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. No, you had seven. One more. Okay. Ad break. I'll be right back.
All right, hi, hello, I'm back. Peanuts are C tier nut. They're improved by being buttered. In peanut butter form, vastly better. I think pistachios, though, might be my favorite nut, but what partially might skew my preference is that there's this one brand that does a spicy, like, chili version of pistachios that are mwah, delicious. And I'm also thinking of pistachio ice cream. Which is pretty good. Very interesting flavor. Pistachios are S tier. Almonds are B tier. I don't think I have a particular preference of any nut beyond pistachios. Big pistachio fan. There's loads of sugar in peanut butter. Well, maybe the real trick is to just take straight peanuts and roll them in sugar and boom, vastly improved and lawless. C tier this nut pants cream. All right, if you say so, take out my tattoo gun. C. All right, there you go. Done. You're not allowed to eat sugar. Go, go out and hunt for the sugar-free peanut butter. <laughs> Lawless, right now. Hello, by the way, Lawless. Hi. Okay. We return to the game. Flip. Angry guy says, Don't make me tell you again. Harbortown won't fall to you bloodsuckers. So unreasonable. Oh my god. <laughs> so unreasonable. <sighs> Crawl back to the darkness you came from, or you'll have to go through me. I fought your kind before and won. Do you want a demonstration? We shall leave for now. But in time you shall understand that we know what is best for you all. And then they shuffle away. Yeah, tell the rest of your kind that this town is protected by Eugene! Eugene? Yeah. Is that Angry Guy's name? Ooh, that'll threaten them. Yikes, I hear the name Eugene, and I quake in my boots. I definitely don't get mental images of, you know, uh, kind of a nerdy guy that would not be powerful in fights as he wiggles around his little arms and just yells math equations at you. So I just go out and pee on a bee to get PB, right? I mean, that would make a PB, you know? I, I don't know if you want to eat that kind. <laughs> yeah, Eugene! We love Eugene! Yeah! You tell him, Eugene! <laughs> the big Eugene fans. Let me know if those creeps bother you again, ma'am. And whatever you do, don't invite them into your house. That's what they want. Thank you. I'll keep that in mind. Thank you for intervening, young man. Oh, hey. Sorry, you had to see all that. He's not sorry. The name's Eugene. Which, I guess you know, because I uh, just yelled it at those guys. That dude in the corner so sad. Now I can't see him anymore, because it camera panned. I'm Ms. Poker Man. Oh, always nice to meet a new face around here, Ms. Poker Man. So, uh... Who were those people exactly? Well, I won't trouble you with the details, but they don't belong in this world. This guy's kind of... I don't know what to think about this. Because I don't... I, I have no idea about those other people. Let's just say that not all the monsters in New World look like serial mascots. Yeah, this guy's a bit intolerant and a little bit racist. I don't know if he is or not, because if they are just straight up monsters, is it? I have no idea. I, I don't know what to make of this situation right now. Anyway, I gotta go stake out those guys. I can't risk them ugh, sinking their teeth into the good people of Harbor Town. Uh, do you need some assistance with that? 
Well, if you're willing to get your hands dirty, I'd be glad to have you assist. Meet me at this location. I'll give you the full lowdown when you're there. And now we got a new quest. Acting on your best behavior. Uh, uh, does anyone belong in this world? Isn't everyone from somewhere else? This is a fair argument, Phil. So pointing at them saying they don't belong here is kind of a... Hey, dude, Eugene, look in the mirror. You don't belong here either. None of us do. You can sink your teeth into me instead. <laughs> Real. <laughs> but we all blush. They're just trying to do business and Eugene is being so intolerant. What the heck, Eugene? Just prepare yourself for a throwdown. Things might get kind of ugly. Also then weird thought if is if they are straight up just cassette beasts, is if we record them and turn into them. Hmm. Oh. Oh, can we sell here? Why don't we chat to the sticker merchants? Is that them? Hey. hey, I've been designing some new support stickers. Do you want to see what I've got? AP drain, window, firewall, ice wall, and earth coating rare. Which is obscenely expensive compared to everything else. 200, 200, 300, 300, 1623! The 23 is important. But, um... Yeah, this is definitely a poor point of view situation. I look up at my 49 wads, and apparently this the paper pulps are the currency. Did someone make a joke reference or joke? And apparently it is what we use as our monetary system here. There had better be some nice smelling stickers or at least glittery ones. Windows gotta be shiny at least, right? Look at its little picture. But this on your cassette! Ah! As Gooblin runs away again. Gooblin, why? He's so toxic. 22% chance of a multi-strike? Yeah, it's pretty good. It... I can't do anything about it, though. It's far more than I can afford. Maybe one day. I quickly... Have Kaylee distract her while I jump behind the counter, grab that sticker, and run. Imagine being poor. Stop! I'll be rich someday. Hmm. Are you looking for some new stickers to give your monster form as the upper hand in a fight? Look no further. Okay, nothing rare here, but Last Rites is more expensive, because who oh boy... It takes your entire bar of AP up there and does 200 power. That's a lot. That's strong. But yeah, I still can't afford anything though. And the merchant who runs this stall has left a note. I've gone to the cave in the park to find some inspiration. If I'm not back by noon, send help. Inspiration? Does this mean that these people are just basically artists making stickers to use for your cassettes? Because if that's true, it's time to make for me to just make my own stickers. Hmm. Oh, this poor guy wants to go over and cross the bridge, but he can't. We oh no! All right, so that's not an option. Imagine if I could just jump from here and float all the way around. I don't think I could even do it from just here on the dock either, right? Apparently I could grab E on that barrel though? Well, it looks like- wait, no it's back. Whoop. Oh! <laughs> Holy fuck. Um. Well, I guess that barrel's gone now, huh? <laughs> Physics? <laughs> The barrel got yoided. There is no barrel now. It's gone. Lost to the oceans. It went to another dimension. I'm pretty lucky to get to live this close to the sea, huh? Wait, one of these is your houses? Is this house yours? Yeah, this is Kaylee's house. 
Uh, not particularly impressive, but she probably is pretty poor too. The barrel got isekai'd. The barrel was sent back to its home dimension. I'm robbing her, by the way. I'm stealing her copy that sticker, her wood, and her plastic. Thank you, Kaylee. I also just pushed her plate off the counter. Hiya! This is what I think of your plate, Kaylee! Then I'm gonna buy you a new plate. And then it will be our plate! As girlfriends! I'm also gonna eat all your food. Empty! Kaylee! This really is a you live like this situation where I open up her fridge and just find there's nothing in there. Her shelf here, which I assume would also be food. Empty! Poor Kaylee. Squalor core uh, house. Oh. Well, that's about it. That's in here. I don't think I can look at her picture. Can't jump out the back window and see what she's got hiding back there, so... That's Kaylee's house. And uh, that's uh, either somebody's house that we haven't met yet, or just an NPC house. Well, technically, Kaylee's an NPC too, but I mean, uh, unknown random background character NPC, like this guy who's running around in circles. Huh? Have you been to the west side of Harbor Town yet? I'm meaning to visit Heritage Center over there. I think we already talked to him. No, Kaylee is real! Are you sure? You can't just call people NPCs. <laughs> She's real! Kaylee starts sweating in AI bot in chat GPT-4. Join the raise, uh, Rangers and complete your training to unlock access to these quests. Oh. Uh. All right, can't do that, which means I'm going to assume that that is also the ranger station. So we're going to leave that alone. She said that I had a house here. Is this my house? Because it's way better than Kaylee's. Hmm. I hope your home is to your likely Ms. Poker Man. No, I hate this vase. It should not be on this side dresser here. It needs to go up on the shelf. Ha! Ah, it needs to go on top of my bed, right there smack dab in the middle. Wait. Wait. Good night, vase. Mwah! I kiss it. Interior decor! Game of the year. The real problem, though, is a singular plank of wood that does not match the rest. What is with this plank? I'm gonna have to paint my floor now, or hide it with a carpet or something. Alright, well, we've got a whole bunch of quests we can do now. Uh, quest log, there we go. So we've got main quests, we've got side quests, and then there's all the completed quests, which is just the one, but different stages of it, I guess, different parts. Let's go ahead and just do the main quests up here at the top. Your side is the small side. I get the big one. I painted that. Oh, Goob drew a line, that line in the middle of the, not in the middle of the room, like offset and said, the side with the bed is mine. The other side, that's for you. And I just cried and said, okay. That means I didn't even get to keep my vase. Ooh. Oh, we can enter into the lady's house, huh? For 101 years, this town has stood. Did you know that? Remember what this place looked like as a little girl. This town changes so much, so fast. But the foundations, they've always stayed the same. The same situation up here. Goob drew this line to say, hey, this bookshelf belongs to me now. Thanks. I'm also going to steal her vase. Oh, I didn't get to keep it! Fine. Hello? Okay. I thought this guy was wearing a helmet at first, but I think he's just... Yeah, he's just bald. Hey, any chance you could lend a hand? You see, I told... Yon, I'd put up a town sign here. Something that could make the place a little more cozy, you know? 
Only I've, uh, miscalculated how much wood it would take. Any chance you could spare me some, uh, any chance you could source me some spare wood? That would be a real lifesaver. Sure, okay. Thanks. I have a lot of wood. Really? Thanks. Come say hi when you've got the materials. 301? I think I have that, right? Oh, no, apparently not. I have at least 200 pieces of wood, but that is not enough. And... I'm not sure if I can go up and to the right, where that would take us exactly. Press log again. So... We've got acting on your best behavior for Eugene. Yeah, let's go check out Eugene and head over here to the right. I also just remembered part of the reason Eugene sounded familiar is that's the guy's name in Tangled. Ryder, his real name. Can we hop over and just float across? Yes. Shortcut. What the heck is this guy? Hello? Are you okay? Rogue fusions? This monster is what the rangers call a rogue fusion. Sometimes they hide inside chests found in underground caves. Battling rogue fusions can be a great way to earn valuable items and experience points, as well as find certain rare monsters. But note that they're always a lot more dangerous than other monsters in the area. Certain rogue fusions surround themselves with a swarm of other monsters that you have to defeat before you can confront the fusion itself. If you're not certain of your combat abilities, or you're exploring somewhere new, it's usually best to leave rogue fusions alone. Uh, now we're challenging it. It's just barely outside the town. Oh my god. Carnacrab in a hop skin. He has arms! <laughs> Don't let Armless see this. We fight. Uh, yeah, let's just smack him. We're taking down the armed snake first. He found the arms! Run! He's gonna be so freaking powerful now that he can properly raise his arms. Hmm. Provoke apparently makes the enemy's target me instead. I think this is maybe also a good opportunity to try calling for help. Oh my god. Um, Carnacrab does a lot of damage. The trench coat fish is also spooky, but not nearly as much as Carnacrab. And also, we we were not successful. I think we uh, can't get away. Well, looks like we're going all in, then. Mm. I'm going to summon help again. Unless they die. Oops. Looks like I'm not calling for help. Ow! Do -do 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 -do. Looks like they're gonna need to swap. Alright, Dandelion! Need to remember, Dandelion. All right, and then we'll bond, bond, blast the Karna Crab. Definitely want to take them out first. Mm, but do we put up an elemental wall first? Maybe, maybe a good idea. Protect Ms. Poker Man with the traffic jam. No, my speed. Oh, Hopskin also got slower there too. At least Hopskin is not nearly as powerful as Karna Crab so far. Though, now he's flinched us, so we don't even get to use our next turn. We've lost it. We definitely do not do a lot of damage to Carnacrab. That is, uh, not ideal. I will, uh, yeah, we'll bite him. Fight that guy. And... I guess we'll just keep on biting. Though, so, ow! Plant type targets absorb poisons left over from poison type attacks and take damage from this over time. Oh, so essentially I'm weak to poison, so my poison lasts way longer. Well, there goes, uh... Sorry. 
Oh, oh, Kaylee's dead. Too bad. Just as we got our fusion all fill, our fusion bar filled out. Uh, Kaylee. Uh, don't worry. I got this. Po what? Poison wall. Gonna last two more strikes now. God damn. Why, Carnacrab? No, he's also giving himself an attack boost too. Well, looks like uh, Ms. Pokerman's in a little bit of a rough situation here. All right, Ms. Pokerman, bite him. Is he dead? Okay, he's dead. Oh, 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 oh. Well, looks like when you kill a fusion, they just split into their parts. I think now because my can devil's nearly out, we're gonna swap on over to the Dami Mothy. Which is probably also just gonna end up taking, yep, pretty much her entire bar of health. And getting just killed in two hits anyway. Well, there goes Dami Mothy. How about you, armsless? Can you stand a match against these guys? I can toxic stab them at least! Arna Viper is probably going to be a little bit more resistant to that, right? I was alt tabbed, but then I heard Dami Mommy. No, 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 Dami Mommy. Yeah, this fight was definitely no joke. Oh boy. I needed to have more of my fusion bar already filled up. That way I could just start the fight by fusing. But, uh, nope. Well, I'm done. Bye. Blit. The battle was lost. We lost some wood, plastic, wheat, and one pulp. <laughs> My money! Blit. <sighs> Are you okay? You had me worried there for a moment. Ah, you're awake. You're lucky you had a friend to get you back to my clinic in one piece, but she died too! Why don't you take these with you? Oh. I'm, I'm dropping one though. I guess I can only hold five at a time. Well, If you two are traveling across New World, you'd be wise to stock up on healing supplies before you go. I'll trade you restoratives for any resources you have on hand. And so will Clements from the Gramophone Cafe. Stay safe out there, Ms. Pokerman. If you're careful, you won't end up back here anytime soon. Yep, there's that pencil I dropped. Interesting that it actually has a... No. Up here? Hang out physically in the world? I wonder if it stays there permanently or only temporarily? Like, say, if I saved and quit, if it would just disappear? I peek back in the house? Still there. And now I imagine just in my own house... If I just dropped a bunch of the pulp on the ground, so it looks like my house is just filled with garbage. Order! Yup. Well. We're heading back out, and this time... We are not going to fight that fusion guy. We're just gonna run on over to help out Eugene. Though it looks like the fusion isn't even here anymore, so... Guess it kind of adds on an additional reason of, or additional point of, don't have to worry about them. Okay, looks like this is where we want to go. Straight to the right. Wait! <gasps> Wait, who is that? Right there with the yellow face? Are you getting a fight with them? Pom-pom and Squirey. I guess that's what Squirey was wearing, was like a little bit of a helmet piece. They look kind of like a shark. But Pabom? Pabom dog? Pomeranian dog, maybe? They're cute. But do I want dog? I've already got the Dan D. Leon. Though I guess that's a lion, not, not really a dog. Do I like them enough? kind of leaning towards no, but then what if we need a, you know, I have a Pokemon situation of, 
I gotta collect them all, dude! To get the dog now! Okay, okay, jeez! Air type attacks blow out fire type targets, reducing the strength of their future attacks. Now, I'm not going to remember any of these, but I do like they give you a little bit of the logic behind the weakness's strengths to try to give you a method for helping you to remember what's weak to what. Hmm. It just air, fire, plant, poison. There we go. Aha, see, this is much weaker. It, it, it helps that these guys are also only level 3 versus that fusion fight where they were level 9. I also like that in cassette beasts here, that your different beasts don't all have their own individual levels, meaning that you have to very specifically train them to get them to be more powerful. You know, if I was catching these and say Pokemon, I would then have to train them up from being a level 3. Not in Cassette Beasts. It's definitely very convenient features. Yeah, I guess I should have used Sonic Boom. That way I could have lowered Pabom's uh, health to zero. That way it would guarantee me being able to catch it. Well, my recording failed. So we're going to do it one more- Oh, I didn't realize that was my last tape. Well, looks like I'm, one, going to have to buy more. And two, we're not getting Bomb Dog. So, say goodbye to Bomb. Oh, heck darn it! No exploding dog. I guess I'm just going to eat dog instead. Sadly. Misery. Eat dog, dog gone. Battle one. Ooh, that's a lot of pulp. Jeez, I had the, I was in the forties for pulp, and from this one fight, I basically doubled my money. Over doubled my money. Over doubled my money. Yeah. Look, this guy's still here too. Y you can go home now, you know. No, he's just gonna keep hanging out here. Well, do what you want, I guess. <laughs> I love this guy, though. Hanging out behind the tree. He jumps out like, Aha! Surprise! Dude, you're like a cat. I saw you very clearly there. You were barely behind the tree. Uh, if we were playing hide-and-seek, you would have lost. That provoke attack, or provoke move that Kaylee's beast has there. I don't feel like this monster is very defensive, right? Kind of weird to have that defensive move on her. Maybe peel off that sticker and give her a different one from a different monster. Dogless. Yeah, that's me. Hi, I'm Kako. And I'm dogless. And I'm crying about it, too. What's my most powerful attack? Is it just my... Yeah. But not pogless! No! I'm pogless, too, because I wanted that dog! Why would I be pogging when I have no dog? If I had the dog, then I would be pogging, because it would be me, happy, excited. But I did not get dog, therefore sane. We've also got Elemental Wall on Can Devil. That's another <laughs> Elemental Wall, then. But this has plus 4% EXP points per empty slot and an extra duration. So that means... I didn't realize that. I thought it was just the... say Saying that this, this attack is an uncommon attack. And these were just built in for it. What I see now, it means that I have an uncommon variant of Elemental Wall. And because of that, if you use this Elemental Wall, it provides the 4% EXP points per empty slot in the one duration. So that means you could have a rare that gives extra points or 
extra bonuses. Or this sharpen with extra bonuses. Yeah, like a rare weapon modifier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We only pog for dog. And so therefore, there is no pogging. Well, they're dead now. Oops. I'll be honest, this looks almost just like a little bathroom here. Oh, wait. Eugene is apparently up behind this building? I like it zoomed out like, dude, you're supposed to be up here. No, 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 no. You trying to find Eugene? Yeah. Eugene's up on that cliff part. <laughs> All right, well. That means we have to do a little bit of a walk around because I do not have super jump like Kaylee does. You just have to take the long way around. Do you think if we made Kaylee get more buff, she would be able to pick us up and just fly us around? Hmm. Hey. Hey, glad you turned up. Are you ready to take on the forces of evil? Wait a second, hang on. Before we take on the forces of evil, let me actually go run back to that campsite and heal. Wee! Thing as I fought, got some damage. We rest. I used to go camping a lot when I was a kid. Ireland has a bunch of great places to camp out. Dude, Kaylee's from Ireland! Look! Look! Well, does that mean she would actually have an Irish accent? Hmm. Give her an accent? No! <laughs> I would not be able to do one right. I could, like, fake my way through accents and that's about it. My dad would drive the two of us to the countryside and we'd stargaze together. Camping with you makes me nostalgic for that time. I also feel like I would roll into just making the Irish accent sound too Scottish or something. Woo! And now it's morning. When it's safer. Tell her she can call you daddy if she likes. Still, I can't believe this. Hey. It gulp? <laughs> hey, glad you turned up. Are they ready to take on the forces of evil? Yeah, now I am! Momentous! Momentous! Alright, do you see that building over there? Yeah, the one I tried to enter just a minute ago? That's a stronghold. It's where these inhuman parasites form their dark plots to take over this world. Uh... Seems kind of rude to say, still. But momentous! Note that down for whenever you're about to do something wild or someone agrees to do something with you. Hey! Hey! You wanna watch a movie together? Yes? Oh! Momentous! And then you sit down and watch the Mario movie. Yeah. Yeah. Looks like a dingy bing... Uh, Dingy building? Uh, mm -hmm. A dingy building. Oh no. Looks a bit plain, doesn't it? A dingy bingy. <laughs> this building here. Hmm. Kind of a dingy bingy, ain't it? Bit plain, ain't it? Little, little, little dingy bingy in it situation here. <laughs> Looks can be deceiving, buddy. <laughs> oh, I can't. <laughs> Tingy bingy. I don't know what it is. Just like the past little while, I've had a much harder time. I don't know if much harder time is quite the right word, but I, I slip up a lot more in speaking than I used to do, and I don't know what it is. Notices your dingy bingy. Oh, whoa, what's this? L Lawless. Oh my god. Their kind once plagued the world I came from, but we fought back. 
and we won. Not a big deal. It was just a funny flub. It definitely was a funny flub. But on my side, it becomes a... It's just a building frustration of why can't I speak right? But it doesn't make it not funny. There are a few of these strongholds. You might have seen them around. They lock the front doors. But we can drop in through a window on the roof. What? This seems like a... a not very safe. Both on our terms, you know, sneaking in through the window like this, and on their terms, just leaving this accessible window, they just go, What? It's on the ceiling! No one will get up from there! As it's directly next to a cliff, and they know that you can get superpowers from these cassette beats and uh, beasts in the world. All right. All right. Try gloat uh, gloating? Gliding! See? Why? I think it's me just combining words together as I'm looking at them for whatever reason. Try gliding over from here. I'll be by your side. Don't worry about it. Try gloating to the dingy bingy! <laughs> Somebody? Please send help? I don't know if Eugene's going to be sufficient. Now I've got a boyfriend! That's two! I'm a collector! His guy is also Cloxley. I guess a little Robin Hood robot. The boyfriend! Woo! It's time to build a boat and name it the Dingy Bingy. Coxley. Fucking hell, Phil. The Coxley's long claw limb gives them a unique advantage in ranged combat as they are able to wield handheld weaponry at a safe distance. This makes up for the fact that they're not very fast. I don't like Cloxley anymore. <laughs> His moves are smack. Spring load automatically gives the user the spring loaded status if they don't already have it. This turns the user's melee attack into a ranged attack. Oh, this is almost a case where we need a guy that has maybe a lot of strong melee moves, but has something like the ranged attack bonus that Ken Devil has. So that way, the even the melee attacks would get that ranged boost. Also, sick. Hello. Hi. Welcome. Pokemon stream. Close to it. Get close. We'll never end up having actual Pokemon streams. We'll just have Pokemon adjacent streams. Well, time to rename them. I start sweating in Coxley. Please don't not Coxley. That's worse. No. Oh, Lily. He just keeps listing off more! <laughs> well, he's basically saying do not do any variant of it. Worse and worse names. Don't worry, I got you covered! It's Rooster Slays! Well, he's plan backfired. Woo! That's a million times better. Now it's discreet cock. The pants have been zipped up and buttoned. Kaylee has returned to the gramophone cafe. Hidden cock. All right, I'm ready to act on my best behavior. It's dressed as Robin Hood. Robin cock. Oh no. Oh! <laughs> You know the Robin Hood movie that was by Disney, right? And then everybody was furries? And then the narrator guy? Rooster. He was the head cock. With the sexy foxes. <laughs> Good damn fuzzy. <laughs> I nabbed the window key from one of those ghouls while they were patrolling. We're gonna drop right on in there and flush them out. You ready? Yeah, born ready! 
head cock or cock head. Hmm. Hey. That m movie influenced a lot of people. Kind of like Lion King for other groups. Just, uh... Zootopia probably did the same thing for people, too. You grab your mo uh, movie? Filled with talking animals? A, a gulp? Space Jam and the Goofy movie, too. Oh! And then you always remember with the fact that Goofy is the one that has the kid. And you know that means he got it on. Goofy. Yuck. Wink. Goofy sex confirmed. Goofy canonically, he yucks. Yeah. Yeah. And also then when we go to it and go, Goofy fucks. Goofy fused. Oh, jeez. It honestly always makes me think of Pro ZD's video where he did, he read out voice lines that somebody had written between Max and Goofy talking about it. it it's really good. Pro ZD has an excellent Goofy voice. Anyway, we're taking down your operation, you leeches! <laughs> You are being a very uncooperative young man. Why don't you listen to our sales pitch? Wait, what? I'm also looking at their whiteboard at the back, which shows a stock line circled. Hmm. Is the housing market stabilizing? That's not an increase. We need to be going up always. How do we make more money? Line go up? <laughs> they don't know what's going to happen past that. Is it going- It can't be falling down, right? That would be bad. What? Did he just say sales pitch? What, what do you mean? I thought they were vampires. <sighs> they are vampires! Well, well, in a manner of speaking, I'd say they're worse than vampires. They're estate agents. No! Realtors! Making money off of just selling you these houses that they didn't even do it with. Buy low, sell high for the housing prices. No, my housing market. Boom, pop, bubbles, go. How could this be happening? Yes. The Landkeepers Association simply wants to formulate a long-term housing market with a new world. Why didn't you say that earlier? I hate them! <laughs> if you buy it now, you can make a significant profit from any future rivals who will need housing. That means if I had come after these vampires, real estate vampires, I would have had to purchase my house. I wouldn't have gotten a free house. There would be no vase being put to bed, getting tucked under the covers. This is the scariest game Taco has ever played. Since New World has no currency, they even have a promising repossession scheme in development. I've heard enough! Harbor Town will never be bought out by your kind! Ms. Poker Man, are you ready? Yeah, let's show them what we're made of! High stakes interest rates. Oh, oh my god, I want a pawn dead, what the hell? Look at him! His little skull hat, his little rough collar. His little bony rib-like pieces. It kind of makes me think of the Black Mage from earlier Final Fantasy games, you know? Or, say, Kingdom Hearts. There's those little floating guys I don't remember the name of that have sort of those oil cap hats. It reminds me of them, too. Like, maybe a combination. 
<laughs> Dude, he chillin'. The booties! Look at their shoes! Oh! Puckhead more like, No! Don't ruin this penis! Of course you'd be stuck on the cockheads! I shouldn't have expected, expected anything else from Idle Penis. Ooh. I won't let you ruin Pond Dead for me! This is now the penis game, Wallace Lloyd! We battle! Oh yes, and I have that mm, super-powered elemental wall. But do I need it? Is it useful? I think about it. Now we smack. Best defense is a good offense. We're going to target Pond Dead. Because I'm mad that he doesn't belong to me. Maybe I'll wait to attack. I also noticing that spring load is a passive mood. Automatically gives the user spring loaded status if they don't already have it. It turns the user's melee attacks into ranged attacks. This is then kind of giving an extra reason why Rooster over here needs that ranged attack booster. Well, I'm going to smack him for now so that way I can bite him next turn. How does a bite attack become ranged? Is it like dentures and I throw a pair of dentures at the guy? Would that be as powerful? I came because I heard penis. Well, Goob's got his ears locked on. Extendo dentures! Spring loaded extends the range of a character's melee attacks, turning them into ranged attacks. I'll have you know that penis means pines in Portuguese, and I totally didn't have any other reason for choosing that name. I squint at you suspiciously, uh, scratching my chin. Well, I guess I don't have any evidence against you, so I'm just going to have to believe you as you smile at me totally innocently. Hmm, the pines are mighty and girthy this time of year. The pine needle tea takes on a whole new meaning. Oh no! Hey, you think about pine sol now. Just as the life cycle of plastic products is often, unfortunately, to be buried in a landfill, earth type attacks bury plastic types. This limits their movement. That's funny. Earth type beats plastic. The earth wins again. Of course, that's bad for me because I'm the one with plastic and they're the one with earth. Not a great combination. Our team to fight with? Well, I'm going to eat him. I guess that I don't want to use a toy hammer or smack since they're both plastic type moves and then we do definitely want to stick with bite. Well, I guess his rooster slay sucks. Oh, his bone cannon wasn't very powerful either. Well, I... I don't recall who would beat Earth so far. I guess I'm gonna just pull out Dandy Leon. I, I always opt for them because I'm just so fond of him. As much as I like reptiles and love the snake... There's just something about Dan that I can't get over. Wait, wait, wait. What, what move type was Bon Bon Blast? Oh, it's just normal type still. Well, it doesn't do as much as bite. So I'm going to just continue biting him. I know, the big goofy tongue sticking out. Mwah. Give us the target leech status for three turns. That sounds like I... Uh... But not be killing him. Maybe we'll go ahead and leech from Spring Heal. Oh, but he made me flinch and I'm just gonna lose that turn anyway. God damn. Well, at least they're dead now. Take that, stupid real estate agent! Fall to me. I smack that guy. And then... 
I guess I failed in leeching last time. I want to try leeching again. I also noticed that he actually still has the spring-loaded move on him. On you, Jane? So, if you do any buffs, debuffs, it persists across your different beasts. Character restricted. Leeched characters take damage at the end of their turn. Opponents are healed by the amount of health taken off. I don't think this means... I think the opponents really means whoever used that attack are healed by it. Enjoy your time, Sharon! Hell! So we kill them by continuing to eat them. Vampiring the vampires. Yeah, if I'm biting them, that would be accurate. <coughs> Oof, so I was about to say something and then it was just like, boom, cough. It probably was meant to be shown on me getting leeched and not using the leech move, yeah. I got six pulp from that, so still is the case that I was, a uh, in that earlier fight and got, what, the 100 pulp? And from this more significant battle, I got six. I thought these were real estate agents and they were supposed to be rich. Apparently not. Also, Rooster Slays just get that range attack move. Also, Rune's car. Thank you for following. Appreciate it. They're bad at real estate. I mean, since they don't have real estate systems set up in this world yet, that makes sense. They haven't had an opportunity to make bank yet. And it could just be on top of it that they're also just bad at it. If you don't have a lot of pulp, are you a pulper? Hey. Hey. Good. Market growth is inevitable. We are inevitable. And that's why we need to kill them. Small victory, but there's more work to be done. Are you sure they're really that bad? Mm. Please, these land keepers seek to profit off our collective misery. I don't know how they got here, yeah. but I intend to stop them as the defender of Harbor Town. Um, right. Do you want some help with that defender of Harbor Town? Uh, <laughs> yeah, some help would be appreciated. Keep your eyes peeled for the other strongholds and listen up for rumors when you're in town. Well. This is going to be a long-going quest, I suppose. Momentous! Do you need help, Eugene? I would love help. Momentous! A new partner. They drive the rent through the roof and they don't fix shit. No. Oh, look, I've even got a long-term key now. Mm -hmm. You can open the roof windows on your own now. I guess they all use the same key then, every building? Now I can be the landlord with this key! The island of New World is yours to explore as you please. If you're looking for a suggested location to head to next, you can always head to Harbor Town and ask around for rumors. The people of Harbor Town love to trade intel. Investigating the location given in rumors will usually lead to progress in your quests, as well as help you discover new monsters. So now uh, we've got a new quest for just straight up trying to figure out rumors from people. While I've still got main quests to do, I've also found some hidden fused material in their file cabinet. Don't mind if I do. If beating up landlords and market, if, if only beating up landlords and market people were this easy. I feel like we would still get in trouble by the law though, in the real world. But I suppose if it wasn't, then that would make beating them up be easier too. Hmm. And now we rest after that fight. 
I need to get back to my workout routine soon. I can't save the world if I'm not at the top of my game, you know? He works out? It doesn't really look like it. But maybe who knows? He takes his shirt off and we find he's absolutely loaded with a six pack. Just, we can't see it because of his huge zipper. What is the law going to do against the big flower lion? Not much, I guess. Huh. I guess we just need a big flower lion in the real world. If we get back to our own world from New World here. Do we get to bring the Cassette Beasts with us? And can we use Dan D. Leon to fight the real estate agents? Kako, you can't just talk about them like that. You're gonna have steam coming out my ears. What? I'm just speaking the truth. Maybe one day some dumbbells will wash up on the beach. This is why he's losing his muscles. It's because he doesn't have proper workout equipment. Hey, you can bench press me anytime. A wink, Eugene. Your broken tapes have been repaired. And now it's nighttime, which is when it's more dangerous and scarier. Wait, 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 wait. We had party options. Does that mean I could switch back over to Kaylee? Camp here, yes. Party. Eugene. And it looks like it just has a tape swap option. So if I want to swap the person I'm partied with, I probably have to go back to town. Press my bench. Oh, jeez. Hey, want to go to the gym together sometime? I say blushing, winking. People even call butts benches. Oh, no. The gym. Yeah, that's how Kronk says it. So that must be the proper way to pronounce the word, right? Is it here? Can we trade out Kaylee here? Kaylee, hello? Take Kaylee with you? Yes. Right. Bye, Eugene. Kaylee's better. We join comrade Eugene in the fight against the bloodsuckers. Not right now, though. We join Kaylee again. I love my Irish lace. Is a gimlet made from gym sweat, then? We're gonna have to hire... Not scientists. Scientists would be too afraid to go to the gym. So we're going to need some uh, to hire some bodybuilders. Or maybe a mixologist. But the people at the gym would be the ones to know, right? You can't ask just any old bartender. How's it looking now? I certainly can't get up from here still. So maybe some other way. We can proceed northward. An orthopedist? They Those are foot doctors, right? Hmm. Oh, don't pay. Wait a second. There's a box down here. I didn't see that last time. Apparently, we got retribution from it. Activates when an ally is defeated. Raises the user's attack stats. Hey, purposefully let my partner die. That way I can get buffs. Have you seen these red cachets around? Us rangers leave supplies in them for each other when traversing the island. In fact, I was just about to play something in this one. Why don't you take it instead? Fixes and rewinds a broken tape. Uses up a turn when used in combat. Oh, so then respool is kind of the revive spray. Dr. Glockumfecken can be trusted. They are all gym bros. I don't know that I trust him. Let me, let me swap out for the ER guy instead. I'm pretty sure he wears the bike helmet, so he's got to know more about fitness stuff, right? 
He's a, uh, there's a doctor YouTuber guy called Dr. Glockenflecken. And I've mostly just watched his YouTube shorts, but they're pretty good. He does little medical-based skits. Mwah. Fan. Camp here? You know what? No. I'm, I'm healed up. Full HP. There's no reason to camp. I'm just gonna keep heading north. The way this person's walking. What the? Hey, you. Confident woman. Hey, you. You boys aren't normally bold enough to venture this close to our outpost. Why don't you get on out of here while this conversation remains civil? And then she punches him and he explodes. You ain't moving, huh? Well, I guess I gotta get my hands dirty then. Oh, are we gonna what? Oh my god! Oh my god, both of them! She's level 60 and completely just pulverized that guy. She's in charge for a reason, huh? Ooh. I'm afraid. Also, as I was saying, with this guy running up and down, makes it feel like he's a cassette beast trainer. We're gonna walk in his path of vision. He's gonna be like, Ooh, fight! But that's not the case. Okay. People are a lot friendlier in this world. Now what's faster than running? Fast travel! To do it, you just press M on your map, and then move your cursor to one of the squares that can travel to, and press E. You can also fast travel to escape a battle you're too slow to flee. You'll have to abandon some items to get away quickly, but it might just save you your life. She truly is a confident woman. I hope I'll be like her one day. Filled with confidence. Unafraid. I want this box. Why can't I have it? Oh? Alright, fine. I guess I'll kill this Karna Viper real quick. And then we're back to the box. Smack him. Yeah, beat him up. Show him what for. Patui, spit on him too. Wait, he just spit on me. Ow. And his is a lot more stinging because he's got a, like, venom spit that he spits at me. Oh, look, Kaylee crit. It's too bad she probably did not need to crit in order to kill him. And more wood. Smack them, then sit on them. Yeah, yeah. That'll prove how strong I am. Well, I guess I'm, uh, not getting this box right now. Maybe later? Say an unfortunate missing out. Okay, I also can't fly high enough to get up there. Hang on, is that a real estate agent? Oh, yes. it is, Landkeeper. The value of property near the park is sky high. Did it say Grampus down there? Is that this guy's name? Be gone, foul demon! Ah, yeah! We smack him. And we spit on him. Which. Except he jump scared me. <laughs> oh, I'm frightened! There's only one thing to do, and that's to eat him! Remember, if you're afraid of something, just eat it. It will be way less scary when it's in your stomach. Consumed. And destroyed by your acid. More pulp. That's a lot of wheat. It's kind of funny when we get some items and we just get this whole pile of them. Like, why was this guy walking around with so much wheat? It's gonna make bread later? Ugh. The crime rate is also sky high. Blah, blah, blah. And then he's dead. But we killed him. Oh! Oh my god! I didn't even see that guy there. He was hiding so well. Oh, and then I just fall on top of him either. You just speed up the wheat seller. Elfless? 
Yeah, I guess since this guy doesn't have any pointed ears, he's not actually an elf. He's just a pretend elf. Elfless. Like my armless guy. Link? <laughs> Is this what Link looks like now? Damn. He, uh... Not doing so good, huh? Do you think he had some kind of accident? So he's wearing that mask now? Ice type attacks cool down air type targets, making them shiver. Oh! He made poor. Was it Saradin? Cold. We're gonna have to wrap her in a blanket now. Slow. Wait, 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 wait. Since there's two guys here, now's a good opportunity to sonic boom them. Except we killed Elfless anyway, so I guess we didn't really need to Sonic Boom. But too late! Woo! Okay, they're almost dead. A little bit more. Fight, 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 chomp. He was just wearing a Deku mask. He didn't have the real Deku mask, though, so he made his own. Ooh, we got Airwall now. Seems that there's maybe a different type of wall for all of the different elements. And no, we have not fused with Eugene yet. Especially now, since we've kicked him out of the party, we're not going to have an opportunity to do so. But we hadn't had a chance to fuse with him yet. So that, that'll be a fusion for the future. That guy just gonna spot me and come after me. I'm trying to figure out how I get up here. But I don't think I can just glide over from this side. I don't get enough height. Seems like I'm gonna have to come up from this right side. But I also can't jump high enough to get up at this cliff. And this side's not gonna put me high enough either. It's gonna just have to continue down along here to figure out how can get up. Hmm. No, go away, Moth. I'm busy. Still not over here. I guess even farther. Man, to go left, we really have to go right, huh? What's this guy doing hanging out with this rock? You gonna roll the rock over the edge or something? Now that one just looks like a rock in a nest. I don't think that's gonna hitch. Why is this so long? This seems like really bad planning for making your HQ for your ranger station. Oh god damn, I was getting hit. I, I was at this spot and I was like, I, I'm, I'm not gonna get forced to fight these guys. And the answer is yes. My husband and I have been stuck here since 2160. It's a long time. What year is it? It looks like we have to fight them both. I love Muscretier, though. They're on an almost... Like on a carousel. And you've got the horses. Instead of horse, however, it's a rat. So it's a rat riding a rat. Kind of weird, but alright. I feel more threatened by the Muscretier. So we're gonna kill them first. Get slapped. And then they peekaboo me and decrease my accuracy. Oh, making me mess with my spitball! Oh no, a traffic crab just put up a plastic wall too. Do I have an earth type guy on my team? I don't think so. I also think I just used a smack on accident. Fortunately, I, it looks like I can back out. If I haven't set or selected both moves for both my characters. Well, Sonic Boom. Because that will take a move or defense. Joseph was weak. Joseph, not impressive. I shake my head. Disappointed. He fell so fast. Well, we bite through his wall. It comes to pieces. I eat the Legos to save them for later. We're gonna have to swap out our cassette beast soon enough here because, uh, slowly losing our HP. Well, that's the fight. Bye, Janet. 
I don't know what provoked you to want to attack us, but I guess it doesn't matter because you're dead now. And now Dan has a sleep skill. With 240 pulp from that fight, I just robbed these guys. They attacked me and I said, dude, pay up. I need compensation for that attack. Oh, nobody here seems to know about the three seashells. How barbaric. What does that mean? What three seashells? What about you? What do you have to say? Don't cross my wife. Man, I didn't even have a chance. I totally could have just snuck behind them. I didn't have to fight at all. I could have been sneaky. Avoid the moth. Sneak past moth. All right, we're finally making pro- Wait, chest! Open! Oh, oh. Never mind. Don't have a key to open up that box. Come back there later. Was there a Demolition Man reference? Ah. Is this where we entered him? I peek at the campfire. You know, we're not at any damage on our people's HP. We'll just continue where we're at. And I guess we need to push rocks, maybe? <laughs> yeah, oh wow. Pushed way more violently than I expected. In order to hit all these buttons? Am I gonna have to run around and explore to get all the buttons now? Or to get rocks for all the buttons, that is. Yeet. Okay, two more. Sneak behind this guy. Yeet. Who? Oh, doo -doo 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 -doo. he'll never know. Aya. Okay, last rock. Uh, question is just, can I get to this rock? Yes. Oh, I also thought I was gonna drown in the water, but I guess not. Water there is not that deep. I'm concerned, but that guy's also up on a tower that I can't reach anyway, so uh, no concern of mine. Did I just climb up the side of this cliff? Does that mean I could climb up the cliff over there on the left too? I peek in. Oh no! My mind said, yeah, you can totally hop up on this left side right here. And I just jumped off into oblivion. There I went, dead. I think the townsfolk used to mine stuff here in the past. I feel like this is not the way we want to go. This can't be the right path, right? I'm kind of suspicious in particular about my ability to climb up cliff walls now. Climbed with a boulder even, that's true. But what if I have to hold the boulder in my hand in order to successfully climb cliffs? Welcome to New World Park. Please exercise appropriate caution around the monsters here. Please. I care not for caution. Yeah, maybe I should come back over here with rock and see if I can, uh... Cheese climb it. Wait a second. Okay, one, there's a lever right here. Ooh! It also gives me chest access. I think that might also let me get up there to that station. Alright, we've got another call for help. And more importantly, we got a new basic tape, which means there's one guy now I can try to catch. And I'll try to climb up the side. Oh my god. I don't know if this is a bug. Or intentional. But if you're holding something, do you see that? If I try to jump normally, I can't get up there. But if I grab boulder, hop, hop. It isn't even difficult to do. Literally all I do is run into it, hop, and then hop again. That's crazy. Maybe it's like you drop the item and then use it as a step. It could be that too. Hop. Attempt. Hop, hop. Yeah, that is true. I guess either either works. Climbing is easier when you have a boulder in your hand. I like that thought. 
And by extension, I like to bring Boulder with me so I can continue to climb anytime I want. Like, see this guy trying to defend the path? Stairway up? No, 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 no. We take alternate route. Thank you. And voila! We're at the station now. Use Boulder to hang on to the ledge! Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh my god, this guy's dead. Oh, no, he's asleep. Never mind, he's fine. A chrome tape records monster forms with high efficiency rate. Hmm, better than normal. And here's the leader. Hi, Ian! Ian. Yante? How will you pronounce that? I am? Nice to meet you, newbie. Well... Well, what do you think of this outpost? This place was abandoned for the longest time. But with a bit of work, we turn it into a rest stop for weary travelers. Alright, what do you do here? I'd like to tell you we defend the people of New World from a relentless horde of monsters. <laughs> but most of the time we're doing odd jobs for the community. It's really not that exciting. Kaylee can attest to that, as one of our more recent recruits. Oh, well, uh, actually, uh, Miss Pokerman and I just fought an Archangel! Is that so? We'll have to look into this. She doesn't seem like she believes us. Look at her expression, she's like, uh-huh, an Archangel. Yeah, uh, I'm sure. And I'm 20. We're pretty sure Archangels exist, but our interactions with them have been leading. Well, well, maybe we should find more. Hi, Anth. I think Ms. Pokerman should apply to be a ranger. Huh? All right, well, what do you think, Ms. Pokerman? Do you want to apply to join the rangers? Uh, yeah. What do I have to do? Well, trainees are tasked with meeting up with each other, or... Trainees are tasked with meeting up with each of the ranger captains here in New World and overcoming their challenges. <laughs> Since you're such a hot shot in monster combat, I'm pretty sure the captains are going to want to test your fighting abilities. Ranger... captains? Huh, you really are new here. Trainees who pass the trial become full-time rangers, like Kaylee. Rangers have a lot of responsibilities, but nothing that would put them in significant danger. Unless they run into an Archangel! The captains, like myself, run the whole operation. We try to maintain the community in Harbor Town, and the most dangerous situations fall on us to resolve. Alright, so the captains are the top Rangers. Here, take one of these. So, if all of these rangers are the ones in town, uh, the ones that really run the town, I mean, you know, keep everybody in line, keep them behaving. Does that make this like a police state? Oh, does this give me free coffee? Oh, every time you overcome a captain's challenge, they'll stamp this card. When you filled it all in, come see me and I can sign you off as an official ranger. Each captain has perfected their own strategy in battle. It ain't just about raw strength. You're gonna have to learn to adapt your approach as you go. Homo sapiens, show that side cat girl. Yeah, what the hell? It's like a punch card. All right, I'm ready. <laughs> That's the spirit. Take me on. It, it sounds like these are maybe not 100% equivalent. But at least make me think of the gym badges in Pokemon. Anyway, I gotta head back into town. If you need me, come swing by our headquarters. Building with a ship wedged on top of it? Yeah, you can't miss it. Yep, seen it. Haven't been inside yet, though. Who are you? I was ambushed by a spring eel hiding around a corner. Frankly, I'm lucky to have made it out in one piece. Weak. I steal their canned ice latte from the fridge. I don't take their pencil, though. That's not a tasty snack. Don't need that one. Yeah, a lot of song references. The scribbled notes say, If given a toy, this elven monster will not stray from its path. Without one, it will eventually be consumed by rage. 
So if we fight another Elfless, and we have, say, a rooster fighting them, would it work against them, the plastic type? <laughs> the Santa Elf wants to make toys! Oh, huh. I can just save it any time too? Perfect, all right. Then, since we just completed that next little piece of the quest, we've got maybe about a quarter worth of the map explored, maybe a little bit less. Oh, uh, as Grav's like, ending stream, that means it's water time, Kako. Okay, I hid my water. Yeah, this game does look really good. Uh, it, Art has been great, both in the character portraits and the world's pixel art. The combat is pretty interesting. It has an interesting twist on the Pokemon format. And of course, fusions are pretty cool. I like that you have different party members that you can befriend that then will function as essentially your second cassette beat you fight with. Pretty cool overall. I like it. It's neat. And I can't believe he's streaming right now. They usually streams late at night, so he's just... He's staying up! No sleep! We'll raid him then while we have the opportunity. As I double check his name. Thank you everybody for coming on by to watch. Thank you for those who have resubscribed. Thank you to those who have followed. Thank you for the bits. And thank you again, horse, for the just straight up tip money. Very appreciated. I hope to see you all tomorrow. Tomorrow. If you recall the Princess Maker game, where we rose up our own little daughter to take care of, you know, Princess Lady. And we took care of her and we built up her different skills. We're gonna play Volcano Princess which is the exact same style of game. So I hope you're ready to raise up our new princess daughter. How we will, how will we take care of her? Who knows, come by tomorrow to find out. But bye everybody. Thank you for watching. Have a lovely day.